do a little old review. Did you, did you guys see Snake Eyes? Nope. Nope. Fuck that. What? I thought you guys were movie fans, man. Nope. Welcome to yeah. Not Another Movie that, Podcast that, Remake, episode number two. That, that's Adrian. cinema. The one playing a Switch's gore. The one yeah. wearing a... Uh, is that Spirit Hoodie? Yeah. No. Oh, like Gore. You didn't show Gore. Look at Gore. Look, look, Gore. Show... Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I saw it when I got in here. I was like, oh, that's fucking. <laughs> that's really funny. Hell yeah. Waka waka. Waka waka. I don't feel embarrassed about my Mario shirt now. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Hell yeah. Movie podcast. This is our movie Remake. podcast. We go do this every other week on. on uh, well, we record Mondays. We post this Wednesdays. Uh, we talk about some movies that we may or may not have watched. Uh, Gore's gonna have his box office corner return finally. Um, what are you playing? Games. What are you playing? Video games. Yeah, what, what this video game? Movie. This is a movie podcast. All yeah. right, stick on topic. <laughs> Happy uh, belated okay. birthday to that that angry man playing a switch. And happy belated birthday. birthday to my main man Gore. Let's give it up, bros. Uh, did you say uh, and happy belated birthday? Because I, I, I was mentioning him as having that birthday. Yeah. Uh, uh, so when we were we were so that that video that, that I sent you was was supposed to be right. a uh, collaborative effort between me and Kyle, but Kyle's uh, discovered that finding new like obscure videos on YouTube is the biggest hassle. Quality. Yeah, is it's really hard to find that. So at least he knows ahead of monthly Gore's intro this next time. Oh yeah. That that one's gonna be you know being blowing all the other ones out of the water. It's gonna be great. He's already hyping it up. Oh, oh yeah, right. we got three if months. If you're a fan of all those monthly gore introductions, those trailers, stick around. Because you didn't like your last one, right? Uh yeah, I felt I, was, I felt I rushed it a lot. So <laughs> very. But we'll crit- see. Plan ahead for this one. Um. Yeah. The the only video because it was me and Kyle online for like an hour just searching through, and the only one that he contributed was the uh, the guy with the cereal in his mouth, the the fountain guy. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the one he put in. Um, Classic bit. And then a lot of those videos, I actually had to, I I cut them earlier because I feel like just a lot right. of fucking meme videos just go on like way too long. Even if it's like a just one second too long, it's too, it's too long. Yeah, like the fucking uh, Dracula one went off right on thirty goddamn seconds. I'm like, okay, well, it's funny if I cut it off right here. Um, well, most of them are cut off. Yeah, I, I know, but some of them like need even more. Memes shit. Um, yeah. what was it? Uh, no, I meant, I meant when unusual memes and shit makes them like, because I'll, I'll watch a, a a different compilation that has the same meme but goes on for another ten seconds. I'm like, uh. uh I appreciated it when it cut off 10 seconds earlier. I don't know right. Why, but, uh, like H Matter puts it for longer or whatever. Yeah, they do uncut with that one. Um, yeah, sometimes. If anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, go watch uh, Gore's uh, reaction it's to his fucking birthday memes. video. Yeah, they probably know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. I, 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 I spent the exact amount of time on the on that Minions freeze frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you watch it, Kyle? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Gorgeous yeah. sitting there just like, all right, <laughs> is this is going. Yeah. <laughs> I, sh- I should have edited one of those like YouTube like loading circles in. That'd have been funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, I thought Gorgeous' own video this year was, was a really good one. That, that took me. Oh, thank part. you. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's funny because someone, I thought you would, you would also watch Inside Final. And I was like, oh, cool. He got, yeah. uh, he got some inspiration <laughs> from that because there's a bit on nope. that that's like that. Because I, I saw no, that, I looked at your comments and one guy did that. Bit. Instead, of, instead of that, I watched the new Bill Burr one, which was it's not new; it's like over a year old. But I haven't watched. And he's it. also probably not insanely depressed either. No, hey, Bill Burr. Hell no. <laughs> he's enjoying <laughs> life. I love listening to Bill Burr just rant about anything. Well, like, what's that one called? Great. I forgot actually. It was on YouTube. Someone just posted the entire thing up on YouTube. I was like, "Hell yeah!" So I just like started watching a bunch of Bill Burr clips, and that was a suggestion. I was like, "All right," and it was pretty. It was really good. I forgot what it was called though. I have to go watch that. Speaking of what Honestly, you watch, I don't think it says it in the video I watched. I think it just says Bill Burr comedy special. Mm. I was like, "Oh, let me watch this." Oh, this is a new one. I haven't seen this one yet. Speaking of stuff that we watched, what else did you watch, Angor? Uh, well, I watched that. Um, I watched the whole Fear Street trilogy. Um, oh, yeah, which I know Kyle watched the first one. I, I think, watched the first one, yeah. Yeah, um, I'll get back to that. Um, <laughs> I want. Well, maybe I should talk about this. 
because I'm going to be talking about something else in a minute. Um, like, a lot more, I think. Uh, Fear Street was fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the first one was a solid start. Um, the second one did more of what I wanted. It was just way more kills. Um, kind of got rid of the whole... Uh, like... Not that the first one's the first one's meta, but it has more of that like I don't know, like uh, like wink to the camera kind of stuff. And the second one doesn't really like sort of. Yeah, yeah, a little. Uh, the second one, I feel like it it really does it. It's just like a slasher in that one. Um, and uh, it was a really well done one. Say again, like like Sleepaway Camp or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even I guess even like a it's Friday Thirteenth uh, because they, there's even a part where the the main killer puts on the bag. The like baghead Jason, so it's just like yeah, uh, obvious reference. But uh, yeah, it was fun. And then the third one is weird because it has to wrap it up. But it also is because they're all like going back and forth in time. So the first one's nineteen ninety four, the second one's nineteen seventy eight, and the last one's sixteen sixty six. Um, so they're going all all over everywhere. Um, and uh, the last one has to wrap the story up though. And if you watch the first one, you'll understand. This, you know where the story's probably going. Uh, not the most unpredictable s- story. Um, there was a couple reveals in the last one I didn't really care for, but uh, pretty good. I liked it. It was a lot of fun, actually. Um, yeah. so. I, I I saw the first one only. Yeah, I'll, I'll be seeing the second one actually tonight, and uh, oh, I actually liked it. And uh, <laughs> and realizing it was made by R.L. Stein, which I had no idea about. Yeah. Oh, it is. I mean that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it it's R.L. Stein's like more grittier books. Nice. Okay. Yeah, because that's that's what it is. It's edgy goosebumps. Like, yeah, think it's edgy. Of it like oh, that. okay. I, I've yeah. seen people talk about this. This, and I'm like, it, it sounds interesting, but no one sold me that selling me though. Yeah. Yeah, because like, it, it's silly and fun, and like you know, tries to do a lot of like meta things and like silly mm. horror stuff. Okay. And, uh, does it pretty well and it's like really yeah. brisk i would say like I yeah it was it's like an hour and 40 but it goes by quick okay yeah so definitely give the first one a shot like it hooked me like almost immediately which i did not expect at all i honestly didn't really know what i was expecting but going in knowing or like seeing that it was written by rl sign the credits i was like oh okay interesting and then mm-hmm. the, kind of got that vibe from that one movie okay yeah yeah so hey give it a shot i liked it yeah give it a shot I like the second one better, but uh, that one becomes a little bit more yeah, not generic because like features on these. Sure, second one's my favorite. So, uh, well, when we ranksters, we do letter grades. Uh, I want to give it an A, but uh, just just in order, just in order, shit. I just in order, I'll give it. Well, I'll give it a high B, and then I'll I'll do the first one is my second favorite, and I'll give that a regular B. And then mm-hmm. the last one, sixteen sixty six, is my third favorite, and I give that a low B. Mm-hmm. So it's all it's all B's. But that's yeah. like in comparison to that's just considering the franchise, I guess, or what what the genre. Because like yeah. compare like if if I give yeah, the yeah. Irishman yeah. A, I, the Irishman a B plus, I'm not saying the Irishman is the same. I would love to like do a rankers where you just like do a bunch of fucking random. Like, it's like the video game ones that we used to do. It was like how are we comparing like fucking like whatever games to one. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this well, video sense. games is easier too because they're you all play them, and I know you all you just watch movies, but there's there's certain movies where you watch it and then you and then you fucking experience. Where yeah, video Fast Nine is experience. Fuck it, that's an experience. Oh. That, that's yeah. a masterpiece. <laughs> like comparing Fast Nine to Irishman is bullshit. Because Irishman's some boring. Yeah, because Irishman, I get bored. Shit. I'm like, is this thing over? Fast Nine, I'm like, oh, let's keep going. That's just Robert De Niro going, and then he like beats somebody up, but he's like old, so it's just like embarrassing looking. <laughs> you didn't? Did you like that movie? I thought you didn't, right? Yeah, no, I really like that movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, forget, I, I, I thought... just bring, I just bring it up because that's the only prestige movie I could think of in the last I, like, uh, year and a half. I want. I almost bought that in the Criterion sale. That was. This last week, I might do that next time though. It's still going yeah. on, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe. Barnes and Noble. I, I don't collect Criterion. I, I'm actually getting rid of a lot of my Blu-rays. Like what? Wow. So, like what? Like most of them. I had like over 500 Blu-rays. I think I got rid of like 250 of them at this point. Anything you think I like? Bullshit. Bullshit. No, I got rid of them. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, are you selling any more? Rather. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm slowing down now. Like, I, I got rid of just junk. It was fucking... I looked in my uh, collection. I had three copies of A Good Day to Die Hard. I'm like, why the fuck? <laughs> it's, like, I got them from, like, yard sales and people giving them to me and fucking... Uh, I don't know, lots of shit I buy and stuff. I'm like, I'll keep it. Like, right? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Keeping that. Like I had like I had three I had three copies of RoboCop. They're all different mm-hmm. copies. I had the trilogy. I had the the Blu-ray, and I had like the special edition Blu-ray. I'm like I'm keeping all. You three. kept your you kept okay. your 3D copy of Gamer, right? Oh no, that sold me. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. No, I kept it. No, of course I kept, I kept that. I had to keep that. Uh, what did I get rid of that? I was like. There was something I got rid of that I was like, should I get rid of this? And then I saw it and it was actually worth a little bit. And I was like, yeah, I'm getting rid of it. I forgot what it was. Um, but everything else I sold in like lots. I was like, fuck it. To, uh, 70 movies. Buy it. I All haven't right. sold that many. The only thing I ever sold, I think, actively was when you told me that the Incredible Steel book was going for like 100 bucks. I'm like, cool. Out. Yeah. It's still, <laughs> I, I, it might be going for more than that now. I'm not Probably, sure. but I was like, whatever, just in case it goes down. Yeah. It's funny because the Incredibles 2 Steel book ain't worth shit. So, yeah. Hey. You know which movie's better than ever. Uh, since we don't necessarily Ooh. just talk about movies, I do want to ask, uh, what were your... Ba- I, I know you didn't like it, judging on your uh, thumbnail, but <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's what I was going to talk about after uh, Fear Street. Um, all right, I want to address... Uh, this is all... Uh, He-Man is a fucking kid show, and I don't give a fuck, really, if you're going to fuck with I, it, if you, If you want a good <laughs> I, idea of that, go watch Gore's reaction to the first episode when uh, uh, was, He-Man yells and does the Sailor Moon thing, and Gore, <laughs> like, like, giddy, gets all giddy, and he, he follows it up with, I'm a grown-ass <laughs> man. I'm a grown-ass <laughs> man. <laughs> all right, so the new He-Man show came out. The He-Man show came out. Uh, did you watch it, Adrian? I know you said... I watched know. episode one. Uh, <laughs> you should just stop there. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the thing is, I don't have a nostalgia for no, 80s cartoons don't. at all. So so far, I was yeah. like, okay, it's a show. Like I didn't mind it so far. So I probably still enjoy yeah. it. But it's like none of the nostalgia. Like I, I could tell. You know, I could I could tell those things where I'm like, oh, when when He Man is changing and everyone comes back in. When what's his, what's the, the the fucking scaredy cat's name? Orko or no, uh, the, the, Cringer? Cringer. When uh, he changes, Cringer. I know. I was like, oh, I'm sure everyone's getting hype over this. I'm not. I don't, I, yeah. it's, but, but I get it, you know, but, uh, yeah. I like the first episode. The first episode was good. And yeah, I could tell as soon as it, as soon as it ended, I was like, I know people are going to be upset at this. Well, this is the thing. I wouldn't have been that upset if they did anything with that character. Um, the character of Tila, who was a big part of the original show, um, bigger part of this. Show. Uh, yeah. Childhood friend to Adam, who was a he man, uh, yeah, a really big part of this. Is it show. a reboot or um, is it a. No, it's a continuation of the original. Okay. But, like that fucking matters, right. but it doesn't. It, it, no, that's what they said anyway. I, I don't know. I haven't watched He Man in a long time because I'm a, like I said earlier in my reaction, I'm a fucking adult. Um, but that that stuff is still fun to watch. I've watched certain like just clips. Mm-hmm. I watched one earlier where um, oh, it's so silly. It's like He Man goes up to a door and he like. He uses his power to like yell at the door to open, and it's one of those doors that has like a one of those locks. You know, like a door has a lock where you like yeah. lock it or whatever. It has like a big one of those locks, and you think, oh, the door's gonna open like this once it unlocks, and it just like falls down, and it just like gets in. It's like it's stupid shit like that. It has like the worst animation ever, um, because it was a, f- a filmation I think back then, um, really bad animation, but cheesy and fun, um. And, uh, yeah, so Tila was a character, and now she's the main character. Um, and they give her, like, one of those side haircut things, um, which I'm like, all right. Um, and then she's, like, talking, and I'm like, all right. And But then she says dumb things, and I'm like, all right. And then she keeps doing dumb shit, and she's uh, completely unlikable. I'm like, all right. I'm like, where's He-Man? <laughs> like, where the fuck is He-Man in this show? <laughs> I mean, they took He-Man out of the title, but, I mean, that's like, that's like if, I don't know. What, what's a good comparison? Like, if they took the Batman name of... out of the... Ju- well, no, he's on the name. No. Um... I, I think, like, uh, like, a, like a, if uh, there's a... Like, Mario Golf didn't have Mario in it. Like, where the fuck is Mario? <laughs> it's just like... They if didn't Steve call Mario Miller Golf Band anymore. didn't have Steve Miller in it. Yeah, it was just called the band now or something. It was like, but where's Steve Miller? You can't just fucking keep the name kind of and then get rid of the main guy. It's like, I don't know. Uh, it, it's weird. Like if if like out of nowhere, Halo didn't have Master Chief anymore. They said, it's "Nah, like, he's lame." Yeah, it's Cortana's like Cortana's the main character it's like now. If like the what Saw the fuck? series lost Jigsaw like halfway through. It'd be weird. Yeah, exactly. There you go. But he's still there though, kind of <laughs> like He Man. He Man's still kind of there. He has flashbacks, just like fucking Jigsaw. Uh, I don't want to talk about it too much because I didn't hate the sh- series. I just did. I 
I did not like the the main character of the He Man show, which is Tila. Which right. Is weird, but I did not like her at all, which is a shame because I liked her in the original. Uh, but I don't need to talk about. Did it too much. did it's, it did at least? I remember they mentioned there's a lot of twists. Were they good twists? Uh, they would have been interesting twists if they weren't like. If they weren't, if they didn't end up being the the twist that everybody's talking about is what you saw in the episode, right? Like where spoilers. Hey, hey, hey Kyle, do you care? Kyle doesn't give a fuck. You don't no. care. No. Okay. Well, I was saying everybody else uh, that's watching, but uh, the big twist is that He Man's not the main character, like I said. But the reason why he's not the main character is because he fucking dies. Uh, first episode. Skeletor, he does some evil shit. Uh, he's about to blow some shit up, and and He Man's like, "Hey, I can, I can make it not blow up. Well, I, it's gonna blow up, but I can make it so that it just blows me and Skeletor up." Uh, all right, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Peace. And then and then they blow up, and Tila's there. And if you don't know, Tila didn't know that Prince Adam was He Man. I don't know how you not fucking know that. They don't even it's look like that two, different. Two, 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 in the original cartoon, they, they look almost exactly the same. It's like some fucking Superman. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Put the glasses on shit. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. It's like, how do you not know? Uh, what's his name? Yugi and Yami. Yami. There you go. Yummy. <laughs> I bet that's what Teo was saying. <laughs> um, so, but then does, does it make fuck. you excited for the part two? At the ending, even though they did something where I'm like, oh, I'm a little scared. Uh, Right after the I'm um, scared part was something dope, so I was like, "All right, uh, okay. I ain't gonna spoil that." Just sure, okay. I'm gonna watch it, but uh, it's it was pretty cool. It was like it was like what the fuck, and it was like yeah. So it was like in, in the span of like two minutes, I was like, "All right, I'm hyped." Again. Okay, um, but not not hyped like super hyped. But I'm so, in. Yeah, I'm more hyped than I was for the last sure. two two three and a half episodes. But sure. uh, uh, it's just a shame that like it's He Man and. Not only He Man, but it's like it's Skeletor. And Where'd you get that hat? Kyle, I feel like you you you've invested a lot into this. What you, you got, got Spencer's? Yeah, you get Spencer's. Spencer's. He went to Spencer's gifts. Got that hat? <sighs> no, it's, it's a Giants hat. SF oh. represented. Nice. Giants. Anyway, that's a, what is that, their mascot? Yeah, that's a seal named Lou. Lou the seal. Get it. Anyway, Masters why is your, the Giants mascot is, is a seal He-Man named thing, Lou? Like, if it doesn't no, have He-Man, man, why the fuck should you bother? This seems like well, a good this is this is the thing. They immediately get rid of the giant white dude with blonde hair, so they could put on uh, the woman, which is like. Does guess, it seem fine. like it's if pandering? Like, if you, oh, it's very pandering, especially okay. since there's there's a little bit of like. All right, they they didn't say yet, but there it's insinuated that she's also gay. Uh, and she's, which she's never been gay before, but whatever. Um, cause Mass of the Universe ain't about romance. Usually it's about dumb puns and fucking terrible animation, but it's fun. Cheesy ass everything. Um, but it's, it's, it's not heavily, but it's insinuated she's, uh, in, or she has a relationship with some new character, which she's not a new character, but she is also cause she was a side character and now she's, she used to be white. Now she's black. So it's like, it might as well just be a new character at this point. But um, sure. I don't fucking care. I I would again. I would not give a shit if the characters were likable. But the, all they do is like it's like they they think strong women are literally strong, and that's it. Like a str- uh, usually strong women are like or strong characters that are female are characters that are like have you know a, a you know at least a decent personality. Uh, can say things that aren't fucking dull and boring. Um. That goes for like male anything. characters. That goes for male characters too, though. Is like yeah, sometimes. But he some, fun. No, no, I know that. He like, hey. What's, yeah, yeah. What's up? Like, yeah, I, I, I got the vibe too. But, but I mean, that's not even to say like, like a lot of like, there, there's, there's times where, where male characters that are really strong just have a really shitty personality. And they're yeah. kind of, like, come on, like, like I was watching your reaction to like, uh, what was it? Uh, the world ends with you. Like the main character in that guy is not he a dick at the yeah, beginning? Yeah, yeah. It's like I know he gets yeah, better, but I mean, like he's a dick at the beginning. Yeah. Um, sure. So yeah, I, but there's I, also I, I, I a lot of that. interesting stuff and stuff like yeah, that where sure. it's you know, but uh, I mean, when you have a main character, they're focusing hard on her too. Is, like, is this like, uh, is it far away for part two or is it relatively? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's this year, but uh, mm-hmm. okay. I have a feeling it's like pretty much dumb, done, but uh, it's dumb, but dumb. that's true too. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It, it, it's 
whatever. I don't hate it as much as some people. People are going crazy about it, and I understand. I also hate the other aspect where, um, or the other uh, side of this, uh, the people that made it or really love it, that just immediately think, oh, it's because there's a woman as the main character. That's why everybody hates it, which I'm sure some people are like that, but it, no, it, it's because it, the show is called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. To be fair, the movie was called Master of the Universe, though. So, I, 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 it's I, an adaptation of that. More I so. give it a. Pa- I feel like you got to kind of prep your audience for that if you're making. Yeah, it, they though. lied straight yeah, up. The which trailers is, showed even. Yeah, which is like, kind of the issue. Uh, I mean, I personally, I mean, I have no horse in this race, but uh, I, I think if they if they took the name out of the the title, it's like okay, you kind of have that idea. But if they didn't like straight up kind of like hey, no. Like, I mean, I, I, I guess they really wanted that shock factor, but I mean, okay. Um, sure. uh, uh, Kyle, do you know who is? Is the like the showrunner for it? Uh, I don't know. So Steven Universe lady? I don't know. No, no, no. Think, think like, uh, uh think like, uh, uh, Disney, kind of like a, a a Hollywood shill. He seems fun. Uh, he made an old independent movie that kind of blew up, and he, he just, cries. You know, he cries a lot at every yeah, Marvel movie. Cries. I don't know. Well, the showrunner is Kevin Smith. Um. Who what? has, yeah, you didn't know that? Uh, who has oh. said in the past that he is no fan of He Man? He said it on multiple things. Uh, and recently, not even recently, like maybe a year ago, uh, he talked about how he was a huge fan of He Man. So it's like conflicting info. Like years ago, he said he, he had no, he didn't like He Man at all. And last year, he said he loved He Man. Uh, now I think he's changing his tune and saying, like, no, well, I, I watched it, but I hate watched it. And stuff like yeah. that. And like he even oh. said, like I used to watch it. I think he even said he used to watch it in like 1981, even though the show didn't start until 1983. So it's like one of those things. Well, like, well, I like what he say to fans. He said, I think there was a quote going around. I, I didn't, I didn't read it. It's like I could be totally getting it wrong, and it could have just been a clickbait article. But uh, it was, uh, the the title said, uh, "Kevin Smith tells fans to grow the fuck up." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he pretty much. It was, well, it was well received, that, but, so it's like which fine. is hilarious considering he fucking p- posts pictures of himself crying at Star Wars. So I don't even like, which I, is fine. Hey, if you if you're so emotionally affected by it, that's great. I, uh, Captain Marvel, I totally understood because because uh, he's not taking pictures while he's he's taking pictures like well after the movie's over. Like yeah, well after the movie, which is which. Oh is my god, I that. just saw Rogue One. I freaking <laughs> cried arena. Bros, I uh, his cry face is pretty fucking. I mean, I mean, sure, I think you you do whatever you want with that, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I I think I think uh, putting putting people that have complaints, (laughs) putting people that have complaints in in uh, like generalizing what happens to them, you know, or why they they just like something like people people get mad at people who didn't like The Last of Us because like oh it's because it's female led. It's like no, it's because the plot sucks. Um, stuff like that. It's like I I, like I I I remember people saying like oh it's because they're like like they hate women or sexist or like transphobic i'm like i can i can write a whole ass like essay about why i didn't like yeah, it nobody, it's nobody, not that at all i you know when like stuff like like alita battle angel and and some, some like that's a one i could think of but like there, there's been a lot of female driven movies like even i know kyle you didn't like it but like promising young woman um Nobody talked about like that was female driven, you know. It was like, oh, I didn't mind Black Widow, but I mean, the, I think just the idea of the plot well, was kind of more just boring. It was like well, the characters itself were kind of badass, though. Whenever, whenever they make a movie that is female driven, it's like not all the time, but a lot of times, it's always about like yo fuck fuck. Either it's here, oh, did I fuck something up? No, he's good. It was yeah, Kyle blinked yeah, out. Sorry. Okay, um, they're making a point uh, with it. Like they feel like well, they... no 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 that's what that was the opposite of what I was gonna say um wait do you mean that in positive or they're like making a point of it like they're shoving it in your face Cause yeah like they're like trying to make yeah, it like hey it's female like it's it's like Captain Marvel where they played just a girl yeah. or something it's like 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 I, besides, it, again uh, but... Nick Fury like everybody else is either a dummy or is like comedic hijinks or Ghostbusters is the worst uh about that the 2016 one like every man is either a dumbass piece of shit idiot or just like no i don't think there's a single like decent male character in there no like don't even say it dude. no <laughs> don't even say it what? Fuck you. what what's happening uh, this guy died i think he offended I him i think he really likes ghostbusters 
I really enjoyed you it. You know how Is much that... I fucking love Ghostbusters, and you're gonna fucking say oh. that to my face, you shithead. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You. I like your nun, like, fucking picture in the background. What the fuck is that? Is that from The Conjuring? Yeah. Is that from The Conjuring? Yeah, is that from the con- Wait, what? Huh? What'd you say? Did you say it's on? Did you just say it's Andre 3000? Is that what I just heard? Let's wrap, let's wrap up this He-Man thing. Come on. No, right. in general, well, I, anyway, I think there's ways to, anyway, to write. Ghostbusters is a piece of shit. There's, anyway. there's, there's positive ways to write stronger things without making it overabundance in that. And I, I don't think it's necessarily like my, uh, I, I think like, uh, Coco, for example, I think was a fantastic representation of like Mexican culture and all that stuff. And it didn't really make other cultures. I'm sure look Luca bad. or whatever was good too. I'm sure. Uh, what the, what was the, yeah, all those Italians, huh? Hey, <laughs> um, but, uh, but those are like real ones. Um, and the one, the one before, uh, Coco, uh, no, not Coco. So, uh, L- Loco, or what the fuck is it called? Why they need to stop with the four letter names of their Pixar movies? Hey, I take, I'll take that we over fucking Soul. all these dumbass sequels they were making for a long time. There's a Popo, and what's the next one? The next one's like called like Poppy or something. Cold. I don't know. I'm just yeah, old. <laughs> Pixar's old with an extra D, so they have the four letters. Uh, old. All right, you, you watch anything else, Gore? Uh. I th- I'm, pr- I'm, I sh- I'm sure, well, I watch Whiplash, but besides that, we'll talk about that later. But, uh, I don't think I did. Let me look at my letterbox. I, I don't remember. I think I saw something in theaters, but I could be wrong. My so. job starts up next week, so I'll be next to the theater a lot more. So I'm like, alright, cool, so I'll probably end up seeing a lot more movie theaters in theater there. Uh, yeah, fuck. I can't wait to go balls deep in movies. Oh, uh, I saw Space Jam! Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wait, you saw it, right? I did. You saw it at HBO Max, though, right? Yeah. We, you didn't see it, Adrian? I did. Oh, I thought you said you didn't. Kyle, I know you saw it, right? Yeah, of course. I saw your review. Yeah. Um, that was Talk Space Jam. All right. Then. So how about how about we how about you guys talk about what you watch besides Space Jam, and then we'll okay, do a yeah. Space Jam discussion, and then we'll do the Whiplash discussion. Space Jam discussion. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, okay. let's get. Uh, I mean, I I don't think I watched anything of note then. So. Well, what are, what are two movies to discuss? By the way, Space that, Jam. It, that is that Space is some Jam Whiplash right whiplash. there, huh? Yeah. Uh, Kyle, yeah, what right. would you watch? Uh, well, I've been seeing stuff in theater still. I saw Escape Room 2 Tournament of Champions. I think Tournament of called. Champions. Yes. And, uh, I gotta say, I watched the first Escape Room, like, a week before that, and I, I thought it was fucking dog shit. It was, like, really boring, <laughs> and, like, so, like, boring and, like... Ooh, Kyle, I like this one, though. At all. Yeah, I, I thought it was pretty fucking bad. I hate this like, one. Oh, my God, it's, like Saw. it's like Saw and Cube mixed together, I'm like... Yeah, but like so watered down and lame. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, what about this one, Kyle? Uh, Escape Room Two uh, is still like a PG thirteen, pretty soft horror movie, but it's fun in a more like Final Destination sort of way. I think it's a lot more fun of a movie, and I would give it like the eh, slightest like positive recommendation if you're looking for okay. something to watch in your Cineplex. You know what I mean? It's it's all right. The Escape Room Two is okay. Uh, isn't there a character in there that can't feel pain? Yeah. Uh, I wish I had that. The, the first one was illogical, but now it's gone uh, past. Just wait until Space Jam Two when we talk about <laughs> wet. Space fire. Jam Two is is my choice of cinema. Uh, Escape Room Two has gone too far. Too far. Of the sequels, though, of la- from last week, which one's better? Or did you see the first one? Yeah, I saw the first one. Mm. I didn't see the second one though. Second uh, one yet, is like a big improvement, I think. I didn't hate the first one. I just, it was just like a. Like, I like the puzzle rooms. That's about it. The yeah, second rooms. one does that like way better and like they're more like, oh, they? interesting okay. and intricate. Yeah, um, I like the set design in the first one though. Oh, like, the, uh, the upside down like, room and shit. Oh, uh, before I forget, uh, I'm watching Pig tomorrow, so we can talk about that next. Oh podcast. yeah, oh, I'm seeing Pig, Pig and that. the Green Knight. I'm excited uh, for the Green Knight Saturday. On Saturday, I'm seeing both of those double feature. Good ass double feature. Actually, yeah. shit, no, never mind. I'm gonna watch a triple feature. I'm gonna watch Pig, Green Knight, and then I'm gonna top it off with Snake Eyes. Hell yeah! yeah. What a, what Let's what a go. Fuck. That's like if you like had great bread and great contents, and then a moldy piece of bottom bread. It's just like, ugh, what the fuck? Um, who knows? Maybe I'll like Snake Eyes, but uh, anyway, what were you saying about Escape Room? 
Uh, it's okay. Like, oh, okay. trashy, you know, made for teenagers to make out in sort of movie. Whatever, you know. Hey, pass, so I'm pass making out. I'm, I'm, I'm here. But if you look upon it, you might be, you know, Stop putting your penis in her. I'm trying to watch Escape Room. <laughs> I said that last time. Dude. Like, yeah, I can hey, escape but, from her room and fucking pay attention. I know, exactly. We're trying to watch Escape Room, but turn yeah. into champions right now. Yeah, the 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 lady. I don't know the character's the names. She, Paul, Paul lady Walker, is in the it? water. The other movie I saw was oh. old. Um, we'll say that was next, old? What next, is it? Uh, what podcast. movie is it? Wait, uh, what movie is it? It's a uh, new. It just came new out. old. Is that the sequel? <laughs> yeah, I like movie titles that. Oh, you, you know. Say it. It sounds like oh, something. have you guys seen the new poster for the new Jordan Peele movie? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? No, I I did. Nope. Nope. <laughs> What's your favorite? What, what movie have you seen recently? Old. Well, yeah, but what movie? Old. <laughs> yeah, but like, how old? Uh, nope. funny. And I like that George Bill's like elevated up to the point where he's gonna go pitch a movie. What's it called? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. You have I'll, a title? Nope. Hey, dude, that'll catch you on cloud. Like, you know. Yeah, it's, it's catching catchy. on cloud. Yeah. It's catch it, it'll catch on. You what know? else, Kyle? People, everybody's gonna do that joke, right? Yep. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Nope. His next one's gonna be called Dope. <laughs> yep. Oh my right, god. Can't wait. Um, Anyways, what was I saying? We're not uh, other movies. Yeah. Old, Lady in the Water, old. Old, we'll talk about old, that next up. Classic next M. Night Shyamalan movie. I think you guys are going to get a kick out of it. It's a blast for most of it. And then, um, then, and then, then M. Night classic at the end. end. Then the usual M. Night oh, stuff at the oh, end. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you going to tell me the twist fucking ruined it? No way. It, it did, dude. It honestly fucking yeah. did. Like, wow. I loved, I loved old and what it was doing in the weird, like, <laughs> The weird, like, space it existed in, very much like the happening, that weird, like, everyone's talking crazy and stuff. Yeah. I love Gal that. Garcia I Bernal like, keeps saying this beach, and I'm like, what'd you say? I'm sorry? <laughs> yeah. This beach. Maybe he just needs to make a movie without a twist, because I feel like a lot of times it's like... That's the twist? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's what, what Split was going to be until, the like, the last two minutes, because I, yeah. I thought the twist was like, oh, man, you're going to find out he's just crazy. I mean, not crazy. He has going no personality. Going chronologically just, insane. He, I thought I thought this was gonna be he doesn't have some personality disorder. He's just a fucking like some some like I don't know. Some asshole. I was thinking, I was like digging, and then and then at the end he was like, no, he's just he's just he, the beast thing is real. And then of course what happens at the end? I won't spoil it. Four year old fucking movie, and they spoil it with glass pretty much by even announcing it's real. But uh, whatever. Yeah, well, I wish to be but... a theater that Gore was in where that happened. He was like, oh my god. Oh. Dude, dude, me and some other guy had to explain to some old white lady what the fuck that means. Like, why did Bruce Willis show up? I'm like, hey, yo. <laughs> you, help me out. I don't know you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, old. Uh, definitely an interesting movie. There w- should be a, there would be a fun discussion about it. So yeah, next time. So we'll talk, we'll talk pig, old, uh, green knight. We'll have a lot of stuff to talk about next, next podcast. I can't sure. wait for green knight. Oh man, I'm gonna fucking jack it to that. Maybe we should do one next week. No. Um, All right. Well, fuck it. So, so no Last one up. else has seen. We can hey, record hey, ahead. Of... After... Hey, hey, the next week is Suicide Squad. So just saying. We can oh, record yeah. ahead of time if you want, and we'll just skip and hold it because I, I, I just can't with with work and all that stuff coming up. But uh, I want to keep the schedule. But if you want to record ahead of time, we'll just save it for the next one. That's fine. Oh, we could just shave off the last three hours of uh blue rupees and then use that to record uh <laughs> uh not our movie podcast there you go we'll sacrifice you that you tell david to shut the fuck up about shimagami tensei for once and <laughs> fucking god fuck shout out to blue rupees go check out that yeah. podcast fuck you david you dumb fuck <laughs> i like calling with them <laughs> makes me happy about my shit life uh Anyways, yeah, you guys, you guys don't need to see Pig because that's like I'm very excited everyone, for that one. Everyone is gonna agree that's a really good movie in here. Eh, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> What's so great about Pig? Uh, yeah. Where where is the hammer bludgeoning? I think I'm gonna also try to yeah. watch A Quiet Place because it's his last screening at my theater. So I'm like, I might just squeeze really? that into. Well, that huh. maybe well, we'll see. I'm gonna fun. see if it's worth the, the drive. A quiet place. That's what they're saying. Ah, eh, fuck it. Whatever. Uh, I was gonna make fun of Snake Eyes, but never mind. <laughs> Snake Eyes the theater is there. No one's there. 
Snake Eyes, I do want to see though, because I've seen like a bunch of like little bursts of it. Because right? I'm I'm doing like theater checking work, so I go into the theater yeah. and I check it because that's my job. And uh, I'll see like thirty seconds of Snake Eyes, like, huh, this actually looks kind of cool. Like honestly, yeah. so the one thing I I keep hearing about that movie is that they like the action would be cool if they didn't fucking edit the shit out of it. Like it's really like jumpy. Very taken. You could tell, you could tell it would be cool if we could fucking tell what's going on, but. Yeah. Very much like the Taken sequels, honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah. I saw, especially I saw three. a little bit of it. Yeah, pretty oh, chopped. Taken three was fucking. I couldn't believe it. they did. Like it. I think there was literally eighteen cuts for him to get up a fucking. Uh, I love that. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ! I was like, I was talking about Whiplash. I got fucking Whiplash. Watching I'm, gonna, I'm, like, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at that one again. That's really good. <laughs> That's um, a classic bit. It is. Yeah, I want to know the editor's thing. like motherfucker. I gotta keep fucking adding. <laughs> The only other movie I want to shout out, I saw for the first time, and I loved it, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I think that's Tim yeah. best fucking movie. I love yeah. that movie. Ed Wood. Fucking hilarious. Like mm, so good. I, I, I didn't know anything much about it, but fuck, dude. Wait, are you telling me his Dumbo movie isn't your favorite? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong if with you? If it's not Pee-wee, it's Ed Wood. So. <laughs> if it's not Ed Wood, it's got to be uh, Alice in Wonderland through the... It's got to uh, be the... Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow, classic. It's Christopher Walken's be, best performance. It's got to be Miss Peregrine's Home for Stupid Children. Yeah, Stupid Assholes or Miss Peregrine's X-Men ripoff or whatever it's called. Uh, what was the other one he did that was like that? Wasn't there another movie that was like similar? Or am uh, I, oh, uh, with uh, Johnny Depp, where it's like a house of a vampire. Pride. No, there's a vampire. It's not like the same thing, but it's like Dark a bunch Shadows. of kids. Dark Shadows, there you go. It's not similar, but I don't know. I was thinking about it. My great, my right. girlfriend knew it was uh, Dark Shadows. So hell yeah, shout outs. Thirteen yeah. shadows is okay. Thirteen cuts to get over a fence. I love it. Hell yeah, yeah. man! Hey, oh he's God. old, bro. He's like seventy. He's in that movie. <laughs> You'd be ninety-five, still sniping people <laughs> in fucking movies. Oh, and uh, I can't. I also watch Whiplash, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good movie. I mean, cuts are in that movie. Uh, there's a few. There's a lot. Whenever he's like drumming. Montage. Yeah, whenever he's drumming, it's going nuts. And uh, I also saw Space Jam two in theaters. I guess. I oh, say. classic. To yeah. lead into so you, Space Jam, you 2. saw you saw it. Wait, actually, no, you saw it in the 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 preferred way to see it. Like that's what the director's really? intent was: is in yeah, big in theater, theater big box of popcorn, uh, large soda pop, just chilling with the homies. If you have, I, I really want to read these two comments I saw in that that video. Uh, one says, right. "So many cuts, the editor turned emo," and then the other one is. When a seven-second scene has more cuts than Birdman, Rope, and 1917 combined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is that it, then? Are we going to talk about Space Jam, yeah. finally? Yeah, let's get into Space finally. Jam. Well, you, didn't, you didn't say what you watched. No, nah, that was it. You just watched Space Jam? Okay. Wow. Well, Space Jam Whiplash. I... Okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let's, talk, let's talk Space Jam. Come on and slam. Hell yeah. Good Come way to start. Slam. Welcome to the jam. To the jam. They didn't fucking play that song once in the entire fucking movie. Unless I like, unless, unless, did it? Did they? Because yeah, I, they did. Start, I started blanking the fuck out halfway through. You know, through. algae rhythms, uh, like little electric oh. old guy. Oh. And he was like dancing to it. They play it. Oh, fuck. No, was I want to, like, it? while they're, I wanted, dude, they, in the fucking trailer, they had a remix of it. Put that in there, like, with the, like, Kobe, uh, no, sorry, that's the other guy. Um, I always get Kobe Bryant and fucking LeBron James confused. Um, yeah, one love. Um, but, uh, what's his name now? LeBron James. Like, what's his name now? And shit. I don't know. I don't King watch James. fucking basketball. Oh, fuck off. Queen B and King James. Uh, fuck this. I hate fucking celebrities. But, um, did he call himself that, or did people call him that? King James? Yeah, did I he think call people, himself? I think like his friend group probably did. And then he decided, "I'll take it." And then everyone's like, like, "Oh, are oh, you guys?" Oh. Yeah, go. I think that's probably what happened. Oh my god, who started calling fucking Beyonce Queen? Oh, Queen B. I I do want to say before we actually talk about the movie, I also that's saw Space heard. Jam one again recently. I didn't. And uh, how's it hold up, Kyle? P U, all the Looney Tunes P-U. stuff. 
all the Looney Tunes stuff in both movies is so bad, dude. I just can't. It, they, it just doesn't fucking understand what Looney Tunes is, how it's performed, or anything like that. Like, they're all just, like, standing around and just yeah. talking and talking. It's so bad. It's like, like Tom and Jerry. Really, like, no one with the sense of animation did anything on Space Jam 2, just, like, just artists painting it. I will say, I watched a couple clips of uh, the original Space Jam, and uh, I didn't realize, like, how how like cheap as fuck the 2d animation in this new one look comparative compared like in in the new in the old space jam there's like shadows on characters it's shaded i think that's what it's shaded shaded in the new one it's shaded it's also just a little bit more detail to the animation like in this new one like i mean i guess they're in cartoon worlds most of the time but like it's just like i don't know it's very flat and like angular sort of yeah it's really funny it almost looks like flash animation uh, very, it's just like, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, but I didn't watch the original. I only watched a couple clips. But uh, I watched the, the clip of him going to Space Jam or wherever mm-hmm. the fuck the area is. That's a r- really weird scene. I forgot Wayne Knight and Bill Murray were in that. Yeah, dude, I completely Knight, forgot yeah. Bill Murray was in it. Yeah, I'm looking at the clip right now. Where Bill Murray playing. shows up at the end. He's like, hey, man, I'm going to ball with you. I'm like, oh, fuck me. Like what? Well, I think he has a cameo at the end in the credits of this one. Space Jam is one of those movies I remember liking a lot as a kid. Uh, I I try not to revisit it much just because I know I liked it a lot as a kid. (laughs) So it's one of those. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah. No, the uh, the the very beginning wasn't bad. I thought. I thought the I, I I mentioned that uh the before they. Warner Bros. started pandering the shit out of every single one of their their IPs right. constantly. So about, like, so, about, so about three minutes in. Yeah, like they the, the bit they did at the beginning. I mean, they still they did it even earlier, which was annoying. Uh, in hindsight, you know, like they did the whole thing, like, hey, we're we can make you, uh, you could be in Game of Thrones or whatever. It's like, okay. Yeah, we can put you in Batman. Yeah. yeah. Um, but when they did the bit when they were LeBron going, said, LeBron right after I was like, no, man, I, I don't like this. They looked at the camera and they're like, "LeBron, stop looking at the camera." <laughs> oh, sorry. So, but but hey, it was a yo 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 brows big uh, big eyebrow you, brow you. He could he could not tell a joke to save his fucking life. Jesus Christ! Every time he said anything funny, I was just like, "Oh no, oh god, oh <laughs> Jesus god, oh Christ. no, oh Cut god." Away. Cut. Oh, I wish god. the Taken Three editor was work on this. Just cut <laughs> the fuck away. <laughs> god damn. Uh, I think I think not, to say, not it, to say he was completely terrible in it, but hey, like, we had we had Kevin Garnett just kill it in Uncut Gems, dude. Yeah, so. yeah, it's almost like if you get a fucking filmmaker that knows what you to do with director. anybody, right? Yeah, I mean, you get fair, Steven Soderbergh, director, and you can make uh, J Lo look good. So we should expect a lot though from the director of Scary Movie Five, Malcolm D. Lee. Yeah, yeah so, I said that. I said that. I'm pretty sure I said that right when. Um, his name popped up in the first trailer, I think. Maybe the second trailer. I was just like, oh, no. Because <laughs> I was like, I remember Scary Movie 5. The worst theater experience I've ever had. Why is that? Because the movie made me want to fucking open my wrists about 45 different ways. <laughs> and uh, I had a, a group of the worst pieces of shit. Like, I don't even want to call them teenagers. I know they were, but I'm not going to. Because they were, they were acting like they were eight. They were throwing stuff at people and shit. Like, oh, you want a jelly bean? They kept fucking throwing it at people, uh, and uh, they kept saying stupid shit. It was second. It, no, it was it was the worst experience I had because they were so annoying, um, and it was just like adding to the pain of it all. And I got up and 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 went out. Um, I didn't talk to anybody. I just got out for like maybe maybe two minutes just to like fucking just like cool off a second because I I didn't. Honestly, I would have got their ass kicked out. Like, I've done that a couple I, times or if someone's like on the phone or something. And it I, was, I, it, you know what? I'm not going to lie. It was, it was, it was, but it wasn't worth the movie. The movie but yeah. It, but it was, no, it was making it a little bit more memorable. So I did not, I wanted to see what else they would do. So I, I and, left for like, and really I left because the movie was infuriating me. It was so fucking bad. So I left for like two minutes, like, and just walked around. I came back in and immediately they were leaving because someone came in. I didn't, I guess I, I didn't know. I like left and walked to the bathroom. I now came I back. Was you. They look at you fucking they, snitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They probably thought that, but um, I didn't. I just, I had to leave. I was if like, it was oh, a, I was like I've, no, they're gone. I've seen, there were some movies that I've, I have enjoyed. And then it's like someone in like the first two rows, the fucking phone full brightness. I, like, I will say though, even though they were annoying, they didn't do any racist shit. I had, 
Uh, I was watching The Expendables 1, I think, or 2. I can't remember which one. It was one of the Expendables movies. I know that because I was in the theater and Jet Li showed up. And every time Jet Li showed up, there was a like I'm like maybe 11, 12 year old kids saying the most racist shit. And I don't want to say what it is. First of all, they weren't even getting his his where he came from right with these racist terms. So, and also they were racist. You know, what are you doing? Are you playing footsies? Huh? I'm talking about yeah. some racist shit, and you guys are playing like oh, grab that's... ass. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Respect Jet Li. Um, so, so when we we're uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're doing some kung fu. The right. the the bit the, at the beginning when they were actually traveling, like, like they were in the Metropolis for a little while. Like that was cool because they had the art style there. That was that was fun. I thought being in Mad Max, oh, like I thought that that whole part was like was cute. And I was like, all right, if this is like, I forgot if, we were talking about Space Jam. Yeah, if, <laughs> I, was I was like, if, about the Expendables. If, if this is like the extent of it, that would have been cool, but it wasn't. <laughs> that was that was just like still all very right. much the I, beginning of it. See, this is my thing. What they did with that stuff wasn't clever, though. It, was it wasn't just, oh, clever. No, I, I'm not saying it was clever. But it, it looked at their their shit and went like, "Oh, what's what's going to get some reactions from like maybe the adults?" Yeah, kids probably don't know shit. I don't know the fuck Matrix they, or Mad Max is. Well, they know what Matrix is. They know the fucking. Yeah, the fucking but they, they didn't at this shit. point, you're you you're like you're you're born knowing these fucking <laughs> stupid references. Mad Max, like, would like oh, say hello to my little friend. If they had, was that in there? No. Okay, good. Mad, Mad Max, they would have got. I don't think. Mad Max, they would have got. But I, like, like, if, if that was Coyote saying "witness me" is like, whatever. It wasn't. It wasn't clever, but I thought it was like, all right, that's cute. But then it kept going. Yeah. Well, I'll give them credit here. The only time I gave them credit is when they go to like the the Justice League like unlimited universe at one point, where I'm like, okay, when they did like the Ben Affleck uh, Batman thing for like a second. Wasn't there like one where it was like LeBron as Batman and someone yeah. was Superman? I, 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 I was either losing my mind or that happened. So okay, Daffy was happened. Superman, Bugs was Robin, and LeBron oh. was Batman. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. Uh, but like in the the one time where they're like, oh, you see like the Superman from the Superman animated series and then, you know, whatever. I, I thought that was like, OK, they could have easily done like something more modern. So kids would be like, I know that it's from, I don't know, the Gumball show or whatever. what the fuck was that? Is that even Warner Brothers? I don't know. I don't know what fucking is owned by anybody. Is is Mad Max even owned by Warner Brothers? Yeah, it is. I thought it was Sony that made it. Nope. I don't fucking care. It's. They all suck. This but um movie, dude. This movie was yeah. fucking bombing. Thank you. Dude. All that that shit with the when they go to Mad Max and the Matrix and then fucking like Casablanca, whatever the fuck. I'm just like, dude, cringe. Just cringe. This is like, just like, <laughs> yeah. why? You're just showing off your fucking cock to everybody. One was like, dude, just stop. Just stop. I, I guess I didn't oh, mind it, but yeah. the fact they no kept going with none, it bro. was annoying. Pissed me the hell off. Fuck this. Movie this producer needed to stop showing this their wasn't cock. Cute. To this this fucking. I thought like, I was cute. This, this dick was waving. I was Hell fine. By any yeah, reason, I can get like a second of Mad Max for your road in my life. I'm fine with. Had made that shit up. Uh, we have these two IPs. Let's just put them together. Funny, like fuck no. Trash. No, actually, this I'm gonna movie, disagree. This movie is actually like harmful. I feel bad for like little kids seeing this movie because they're just gonna fucking grow up to be consumers. Fuck this movie. Trash. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're gonna grow up wanting like Godfather Part One to have a Rick and Morty reference or something. So you yeah, know. What? They Probably will exactly, and I and bet they'll watch Godfather Hobby. Part Two before we've seen one. Fucking dicks. In a cosmic sort of way, maybe this is funny, and maybe in the Rick and Morty, yeah, like thing, aliens you know, will find it funny. Well, the Rick and Morty one was just like it was just like what the fuck that was. Yeah, there's that, two that, jokes that kind of worked. There was two jokes that kind of worked. And one was Rick and Morty. It wasn't funny, but it was just like all right. Oh. Uh, because it was like it was like Rick and Morty can't get a, 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 they can't get by in their own show for like more than five seconds while cursing or doing something fucked up. So them even showing up in a PG movie is kind of funny. It's even funnier because the episode that because it's they're airing season season five right now. The episode that preceded the movie coming out uh, had a had a, a a plot line about an incest baby. So it's really funny considering. Um, this is made for fucking idiot babies. So, and maybe, maybe incest babies, you know, maybe. sometimes they get all fucked up. Right. So I feel like I, this movie will make you an idiot baby. So I did. I was, I was, I was, uh, uh, digressing. 
And the second one was Big Chungus, right? I was that becoming, was, that was me. Second best. Yeah, no, no, no. The second one was uh, the Michael Jordan joke. I thought yeah. that was all right. Even though I predicted it, you watched my reaction. I, I was like, it's going to be Michael B. Jordan, isn't it? Because <laughs> like, they were building it up. It was obviously going to be a joke. And I think at a point you see the back of his head, and I was like, that looked like Michael B. Jordan's head. So <laughs> it's... Yeah. That was clever. Yeah, the big chungus one was funny. I, that was, you, know, you know, dude. That that's that's a oh yeah, boy, let's go moment. <laughs> I was like, I was like, some like yeah. you know, everybody losing their minds yeah. at end game. That's like mm. to wine to that. Yeah, oh yeah, big chungus. They they, they got all the good memes in there. Rick and yeah. Morty, big chungus. They should put. should have been Gore's right? movie. Yeah, I should have loved it because I'm a fucking idiot. If they put uh, the the fu- the funny "Give me your cum" guy, then it would have been really funny. Um, also, by the way, his uh, LeBron's son, his name is Dom, and there's a there's a line where it's like Dom, your family. I'm yeah. not even kidding. Yep. I'm not even yep. fucking kidding. Yep. Hilarious. Well, which is true, actually. He's actually family. So, like, where Vin Diesel's like, "Hey, John Cena." Oh, actually, he's family. Never mind. That's the one character that's actually family. But like, when yeah. he talks to like. I can't remember any of the other characters' names. I couldn't even remember John Cena's Letty? character. Letty, your family. It's like, no, you're not. Jacob. You didn't even marry her. Did you even marry her? Where's oh, the word? Tej. Tej. That's Roman. The guy's last name. Roman. Roman. Yeah. Um, oh, Han. yeah? Name them all. Name all the characters in every Fast and Furious movie. Ramsey. Um, Ramsey. Who the fuck's that? Ramsey Bolton? Um, the fuck? Mid-size sedan. Oh, is that the girl? The girl? Yeah, Game of Thrones girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's funny. Ramsey yeah, Gal Gadot. Yeah, yeah that's she's a, in Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's her <laughs> yeah, name. In, that's her name in the Daenerys. movie too. Giselle. <laughs> off, man. You know they're gonna bring her ass back in the next. I hope. Oh, 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 we did. We did get confirmation though that. Well, I guess Kyle's gonna disagree and, and not believe it, but we did. Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson said he will not be in the final yeah. movies. Yeah. I like. I like. Some people are going to think that the reason why his name is Dwayne the Rock Johnson is because there's another Dwayne Johnson out there. You don't want to get confused. Yeah, like he'll get paid wrestling. for a cameo. That's what I'm thinking. He'll, he'll, he'll get, get paid for a cameo. They'll for film him movie. separately. They'll do uh, like what they did with that Army of the Dead movie, where they had to refilm like yeah. uh, an actor in there or whatever because they were a sex pervert. So they had to, like get a new guy. Um, God, it's just annoying. Or, you can't sorry, finish. The, you lady. can't grow the fuck up and finish your goddamn franchise with two movies. Get no, over fuck it. Fuck that. Vin Diesel's a fucking dick. Like, fuck him. Well, it's was nice. it? Was it? Tight. He, he, j- he fucking showed up in the fifth one. That's not. He was. He, Ty, the f- Ty Most Re- movies don't even get to five. Tyrese was uh, against him too. Remember? Tyrese needs money for his kids or whatever. All forty-eight the of ten thousand support however. that he's paying monthly or yeah. something. God damn, man. He's, yeah. Oh, oh. Dwayne Johnson is supposed to take time out of his his life to support Tyrese <laughs> if I be in his movie, so they make more money. Fuck that. Uh, no, fuck that. He, he's too busy taking DC's money now because he's going to be Black Adam. So. He takes everyone money. He's Jungle Cruise. Yeah, he's in Jungle Cruise. That's Disney, too. There you go. Yeah, uh, the only one he's not working for is uh, Paramount. Is that F9? Universal, yeah. I thought. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't fucking He's care. also They're the all... Super Dog Crypto. Crypto. That's true. He's voicing. Uh... Is he voicing Crypto or is he voicing yeah, some other? Crypto, the Super Dog is. I thought Kevin Hart was voicing Crypto. No, Cri- no, I think Kevin Hart's in there because uh, whenever you buy busy. Dwayne Johnson, that, you get. That Kevin article Hart was hilarious, it. by the way, because uh, The Rock was so offended by fucking Vin Diesel's comments about it, which is like, I don't know why yeah. Vin Diesel even made the fucking comments. It was a dumbass comment. Uh, well, I'm going to get the actual hey, I just wa- right. I just want to bring this up. I want to bring this up. Dwayne Johnson has starred in multiple movies that have done well. Where Vin Diesel has only starred in movies that are called Fast and Furious that have done well. So I just, I was just, I was just saying, Bloodshot wasn't breaking the bank, but I tell you what, Black Adam is definitely going to do well. You know, Bloodshot, nobody gave a fuck about that comic character, uh, COVID or not, <laughs> it didn't matter. No one was seeing that piece of shit. So. Uh, well, I want to get uh, the. Uh, no amount of family was going to change that. I, w- I want to get the. Uh... The actual quote, right? I like was... Dwayne Johnson way more than I like Vin Diesel. I don't know if you oh, can tell. Oh, 100%. He's literally, well, Groot. He's literally Groot and fucking Iron Giant. Excuse me? Yeah, that that's true. But you defending Vin Diesel by using a Marvel character makes me really, really, really nervous about you. Is Are you okay? Yeah. Because you hate Marvel shit. Uh, well, he said, let's see, uh, uh, as part of an interview, he said, uh, 
he said he gave tough love to the rock trying to get him to have a great performance out of him was what led to report attention quote yeah it was a tough character to embody the hobbs character my approach at the time was a lot of tough love to assist in getting that performance where it needed to be as a producer to say okay we're getting we're going to take Dwayne Johnson is associated with wrestling and we're going to force a cinematic world audience members to regard his character as someone they don't know. He knows who The Rock is. He plays The Rock. That's all he did. It's just like, I'm going to beat Don. He, he fucking, I'm going to beat your ass like a Cherokee drum. That's something yeah. that The Rock would say. He didn't say, shut up, bitch, though. That's he said, he said, quote, Hobbs, Hobbs, hits you like, Hobbs hits you like a ton of bricks. That's something I'm proud of that. It's aesthetic. That took a lot of work. We had to get there. And sometimes, at the time, I, I could give a lot of tough love. Uh, what the fuck? Not, oh. not Philan-esque, but I would do anything I'd have to do in order to get performances in anything I'm producing. Vin Diesel looks like the kind of... He's like Steven Seagal. Like, I don't... Like, he's just like... He looks like the kind of guy that you think is tough, but, like, you just, like, push him down. And he's just like, uh, oh, my ass. And, and Johnson know, said, uh, uh, quote, I laughed and I laughed hard. <laughs> I think everyone had a laugh at that, and I'll leave it at that. And I, that I've wished them well. I wished them well on Fast Nine, and I wish them well on the on and the best of luck on Fast Ten and Fast Eleven and the rest of the Fast Furious movies that they do without me. Oh, but that's not confirmation that he's not going to be in a Fast and Furious. No, he said, and the rest of the, the ones Fast without me. Yeah, but I mean, he'll, Fast, be, in, he'll be in Hobbs and Shaw too. No, that's already uh, in production. And... They've said, but uh, oh, I, I, I mean, I, I, I didn't really want that. I would like, I would like him to be in just the main one, especially the franchise. Let's fucking get over it. Why? Who fucking cares? He's just going to be in a car the entire time and be like, Liddy, what's going on? Liddy. Even, even the movie like, they removed him off, he had the fucking uh, daddy's got to go to work and just flex out of his fucking yeah, his, uh, a, his cast. Yeah. And I'm like, that was still like the best part. Yeah. I mean, I guess they do need his help to go to hell for reasons. Because they're going to hell. That's good. That's the only way with the space. They got to go below. They're going to do time travel. Time travel. That, that's that's, part that's one. the last time, one. No, they're gonna do Endgame Part Two. Is time. They're travel. gonna go into a black hole at the very in the last one. Black hole. Yeah, and he's gonna drive through. He's gonna drift out of the black. <laughs> like the black. He's hole gotta drive so in. fast that you gotta make the black hole stop being <laughs> yeah, a black nitrous. hole. <laughs> no, he's gonna bring back the nitrous. They haven't used nitrous in one of these movies uh, unless it's a flashback. Um, in a little while, so he's gonna have like super nitrous and. Just, yeah, he's got. He's got. He's got to go so fast that you stop the black hole. Yeah. And he finally defeats uh, what's her name, Charlize Theron's Satan. character, which I guess they they made her the Thanos of the series. Now she just keeps fucking like yeah. showing up. Like in this Cypher. new movie, she was like, in, she was in Cipher. Yeah, she showed up for like five minutes just to sit in a with chair that bad haircut. Say, eh, whatever. Charlize Theron can have any haircut; it's fine. She knows. Anyway, she Space knows Jam. she can make it work. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot. Algae uh, rhythm. Algae Al- rhythm. G rhythm. Get it? Like algorithm. Do you get it, kids? Uh, oh, I also, looked up the. I looked on the Wikipedia. Um, just I was looking at everybody that was in it because I always do that, even for movies I hate. Um, and in it, it said Don Cheadle has algae, algae rhythm, which is a play on algae Like no shit. And thank you. <laughs> it was like I, I. But it's for kids, so they. And even if you, like, they wouldn't yeah. know what algae. You algorithm know what? Means. I'm really glad that the kids of today are being taught by fucking algorithms. Don they're, they're, being, they're learning how algorithms work. Yeah, thank God. They work. They're a little black guy in your computer that uh, has a little blue guy that floats around. On and, Cheeto Man playing Connect. Yeah. Go, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, he's playing. Oh, okay. And then he becomes a CG man a couple times, <laughs> especially towards the end, which was a nightmare. And, but, and that uh, fucking like, light bulb thing that is psychic, dude. Yeah. What, the, what was that? That was made for toys, obviously. Oh. That was probably the biggest fucking, like, I. I a cute toy i'm like no one wants you fuck out of here this is so <laughs> stupid i'm looking at the rest of that I, that that would be article while michael jordan does not appear in the in the film he does make a photographic cameo in the original space jam poster as shown by algae rhythms warner 3000 pitch he is also mentioned to be teased and appear in a scene with michael b jordan's cameo don chill teases gag in the film's release saying michael jordan's in the movie but not in the way you'd expect it no way you think but you boo uh, Don Cheadle always does that. He did that shit with Avengers too. He's just like, oh yeah, I mean, uh, something you might expect, but it's gonna be different. It's gonna be weird. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Don Cheadle, man. Uh, hey, congrats by the way to Don Cheadle for his his uh, guest starring uh, role nomination for Falcon and a Winter Soldier. Congrats. He literally showed up for five seconds, said, "Hey," and that was it. Even he, he said, nominated. "I don't know why the how the fuck I got that." I, uh, 
I don't know, because I guess it was just because it was surprising he was in it. Was that was it? Like, oh, Don Cheadle's in it. And he was in it for literally, not, I'm not kidding. No, like, it wasn't. A minute and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and what was like, that for again? He was... didn't do anything. It was for Falcon Warrior Soldier. No, but what, what was the category again? For a guest star role in a miniseries, I think, or something. Um, is, is, I don't, I, is the guy who played Isaiah Bradley any sort of namesake? No, he, well, he, vo- he voiced uh, Martian Manhunter. So. Yeah, that guy should have fucking got that award. <laughs> Or nominee. Uh, Not that nah, word, Don like... Cheadle, though. Don Cheadle's algae rhythm. <laughs> that was like, oh, dude, the dude was... Algae rhythm for, for president. He was literally in it for like 15 seconds. I really thought at first Don Cheadle would be like the saving grace. <laughs> Not, not that he'd be, he'd make yeah, the movie better. Yeah, that, that worked out. But he'd be at least fun, like in a, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, who's a, who's a, what's a bad movie with a really fun, like, I guess, I, not that I thought the Mortal Kombat movie was bad, but every time Kino showed up, I was Jupiter's like, hey. Spending. Oh, yeah, Eddie Redmayne. There you go. I love, I loved it, him. I know you hated him in that movie, but he's fucking hilarious in that. But, like, even Kano, when K- Venom. Kano was in it. Venom, uh, whenever. Uh, Tom Hardy was acting like uh, a fucking insane whenever, man. Oh yeah, sure, but he's that's a whole star. Di- that's like, a whole di- no, like that's, that's a whole different actor right there. Yeah, that's a little guy. Isn't Tom Hardy short? Let me see. Uh, like they always make him look big, but I think he's short. Like Tom. well, short. You know, he's like five nine or something. He's not that. To me, that's nope, short. You got but, it. Uh, five nine. I nailed it. There you go. See. Um, but he always like he plays Bane and shit. I Bane's look at like a giant dude. So I, I like, the, the, the third result is from Quora. Someone's asking, is Tom Hardy really five foot nine? <laughs> No, he's five foot two. He's like, yeah, <laughs> he's a short little. Anyway, we really don't want to talk about Space Jam, obviously, but it just, no, it... I want to talk about. Let's talk about it. All right, so uh, uh, let's talk about the deep themes uh, revolving around Space Jam. Uh, of course, friendship. That's about it. Sacrifice. Oh, put away the toys. This is what the movie's like. Actual intended message is: it's like put away the toys and just work hard and strive for something really great. That's the beginning message, but the message at the end is: you can still have fun and still succeed by taking making taking, video games when you're 12 years yeah. old and consuming yeah. warner brothers movie by when your friend gives you a game boy for some reason like that would ever fucking and happen we put it in the uh, trash and then you you immediately two minutes later put it in the trash can dude you know the boy uh, you know the kid that found that shit was like oh shit hell yeah oh fuck a whole game boy or it got no one noticed it because maybe it was the last one to leave and it was conveniently placed on the top destroyed. though and he got it water graded and sung you know. Anyway. Yeah, he got it water graded. Uh, he got a Game Boy, a know, regular Game Boy water graded. You, you know, uh, you gotta go. You, you gotta go do the E three uh, developer <laughs> camp. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was fucking so funny. Oh uh, yeah, E three, E three's debut performance in a movie, I believe. Wait, dude, um, what? Is, that what? was weird. I was like, huh. <laughs> I was like yeah. when he said it, the first time he said E3, I thought I misheard and he just said something else. And then it showed E3 on his computer screen. I was like, oh no, he said E3. It's like, all right. Um, at that point, it already had like 45 different references, so it didn't surprise me. So, um, which is confusing because Rick and Morty still surprised me. I don't know why, but um, I I don't even know where to start. I don't even like like. It was a it's piece the same of shit. Basic sort of setup. Like LeBron James goes into the Looney World yeah. and he has to fucking get a basketball yeah, team. Get a basketball team. And he has to get the Looney. He has to train them up because they suck they ass. Yeah, but he trains them up in a weird way. Lola's the only one that knows how to play. Have fun. Yeah, uh, Lola's. Uh, yeah, it's in day, like, so you know she's good. Um, I don't know. Lola gets a bigger role in this one. But, uh, They're like, oh, yeah. we need a fast player. Okay, let's get Roadrunner. He's in the Mad Max movie for some reason. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's there and Wiley Coyote. I think is Mad Max, right? At that point. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he's like. No, one he's of the, one of the war the uh, war boys. Uh, yeah, someone war was boy. what, what? Someone was Mad Max. Who was it? I don't know. Yeah, but he's like strapped to the fucking yeah. car. Remember? Yeah. I don't remember who. That that Foghorn that Leghorn? I don't know. I'm like what the fuck is literally footage from Mad Max Fury Road? No, Foghorn was I just, uh, Daenerys. I don't fucking care. Um, yeah, right, dude. Why? Why? Like that was pretty much it for most of those characters. By the way, their intro was like it, and then they were in the background. Like Speedy Gonzalez was not in it. I oh, know he wasn't. In it. I'm sorry, Pepe Le Pew wasn't in it. Pe- Speedy Gonzalez was yeah, in it because Pepe Le Pew got canceled, bro. Yeah, he's too busy. Oh, Speedy was supposed like, to apparently. Who? Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, he's in it. Which I think is bullshit. Oh, oh, he was supposed to get. Yeah, that's fucked up. I hate man. that. 
I, just because he's, he's from Mexico? That's I, fucked up. I gotta take away the one character. That I, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Yeah, I, that, that's so him. not productive. Andale, andale. Yeah. That's so yeah. not productive. Like, he's so offensive. I'm like, bitch, so is not having anything how else. All, how about all the French people that don't have a fucking icon anymore because they took away yeah. Pepe Le Pew? Uh, yeah. The fuck? Pepe Le Pew French icon. <laughs> <laughs> people you base their lives around insane. that. You know, Harvey Weinstein. You know, all oh, these no. people that based <laughs> I don't condone what Gore the Movie God is saying. I didn't say it was good. <laughs> the views of Gore the Movie God do not reflect. I that wasn't me. a view. That was a joke. Yeah, it reflects Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyle didn't say it. It's obviously reflects that. That's fine. fine. He's got his stupid giant hat. There, right. he's squeezing his little thing. Um, but uh, no, I don't think Pepe Le Pew is that bad. Because every time, does anybody remember how every Pepe Le Pew gag ends? It's like, oh, because she gets paint on her. Like, yeah, yeah. all they, they say anything where the fucking lineup is, it's ass is a skunk. Yeah. Skunk sure. says mama me. But no, like, she, she thinks, uh, he thinks the girl's the skunk because she gets paint on her or something. And then she has a line. And he's like, oh, come on, let's, you know, because there's no, no other skunks in the world, I guess. Uh, and then she gets the paint off, and then he's like, nah. And then she's like, no, come here. <laughs> and then she does it to him. So it's revenge. It's like, uh, I spit on your grave. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Did you watch I Spit on Your Grave, Adrian? No. Then watch it. You'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> I figured. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway but... the way the Looney Tunes are handled in both these movies did are you, so bad. Did you like the Godzilla I reference? I just forgot. Oh, no, it was King care. Kong, right? I forget one. Like, hey, look, King Kong's in the, the audience. Yeah, he's a, he's a King Kong and got nothing on me. And then King Kong's like, oh, because that's a training day reference, um, which is a great movie. By the way, if we want to mention great movies. Um, this as well. A Space Jam, this is a great movie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two great films up there. Criterion, tri- Training yeah, Day. There will and- be someone in the comments saying Space Jam 2 wasn't that bad. Their IQ is the same number as their age. About 10. Yeah, IQ is the same number as this. I hate Hellboy more than I hate Space Jam, <laughs> that'd be fair. Oh, fuck you. What the fuck that's is this whole, shit? He's totally... bringing up two-year-old fucking movies nobody remembers. Yeah. Hellboy. <laughs> Hellboy has nothing to do with Space Jam. Yeah, but, if I, if I, but in terms of things, I just hated more. It was definitely Hellboy. Hellboy was way more creative. And at least it didn't have five million fucking stupid Dude. references. Like, I don't know. It had the demon baby or whatever it was. Yeah, the fucking fuck. big dude. It was Nicolas Cage's pig guy, right? Yeah, that, that's, that's the that sequel. That was his first role. Oh, um, man. Yeah, Looney Tunes, Hellboy, the Looney had Tunes. That, Hellboy had that one scene uh, that uh, I don't remember. Yeah, same. It was a good scene. I don't uh, remember. The uh, you said, so the way that Looney Tunes were handled, you guys were mentioning. Yeah, oh, oh, it was terrible. Like, okay, it was... dude, watch watch a real Looney Tunes cartoon and actually understand. It's funny. What Looney Tunes is like it's. And insane. the only funny bits were like the ones they just steal from older ones, like the duck season, like, rabbit season. Well, Not that it's funny, funny but off. yeah, the timing's terrible. Big like, Chungus isn't even original. Part- Le- LeBron James is, you know, I mean, to be fair, Big Chungus came from. Well, it wasn't cartoons. even. It wasn't called Big Chungus, obviously. He's just pretending How, to be Elmer Fudd. Yeah, <laughs> you like, like you like the game though. Oh yeah, I played the game too. The free there's, there was a free game that came out alongside this piece of shit. Um, that is actually worse than the movie. So I'll give I give this credit. This movie's better than the piece of shit free game that takes about 30 minutes to complete on xbox no i, I, so, I was making a joke about how remember you bought like three copies of big chungus on that one guy's uh, channel and oh can't... i just thought about the space jam game oh yeah i forgot that actually i just bought he was doing a thing yesterday where he was selling a bunch of sealed uh hannah montanas on ps2 uh for five bucks i was like i'll take one and i really <laughs> wanted one and he just never would see me i said i'll take one he's just like all right i got everybody written down for one i'm like i'll take a fucking hannah montana one on ps2 so, hey, shout out to that guy. Cheap ass gamer was posted about it. That's the only reason why I knew about it. <laughs> but um, hey, you brought it up, fucker. You too. You play footsies again. Play, play blue. Talk about in blue rupees that game, please. All right, yeah, I'll I'll play it. I forgot which Hannah Montana it was. Not like I know all the fucking game, but uh. Yeah. Anyway, what are you laughing so, at? I mean, is there really anything else to talk what you, about? What, what, what the fuck is Adrian smiling about? I'm not smiling. Um, yeah, you are. Look at him. Am I? Talk about Hannah Montana. He's fucking laughing. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. All right, He's I just can. I, can we bring up? Hannah, and you're laughing. Speaking of uh, speaking of Pepe Le Pew and his like little little grab ass. 
Uh, can we talk about uh, some of the cameos that you see in the background, including one? Um, oh my God. Uh, uh, you know, orange classic kids movie clockwork orange. I couldn't believe they put that in there. And it's it was uh, like prominent. It was like right on front of yeah. the crowd because during the Space Jam game, they're like Warner Brothers just want to suck their own dick some more. So they just put a bunch of other characters like so. But uh, I think Joker, the newer Joker, Joker. The edgy Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there's other ones. I, I honestly I don't remember, but I remember seeing like, oh, is that the 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 the. Um, but the one that stuck with me was the orange clock guys, the clockwork orange guy. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, if you see that, oh, yeah, movie, Iron Giant, Iron Giant, oh, yeah, Iron Giant sitting in the audience, uh, so is uh, King that's Kong. Like Ready Player One just pimping out that grave. Yeah, but at least Ready Player One made sense, you know, like it was a VR world. Hey, if you're gonna be in a VR world, you know, you're gonna see a lot of tracers. <laughs> this is the Warner Brothers server verse. Like, what? Yeah, server. It made no fucking sense. Like, and not that I needed to, but it's like even just even so with like if I take my IQ down to like the teens, like I still am just like, what the fuck? The server verse? That's that's your reasoning? The easiest conceit ever. Yeah. At least Space Jam's just <laughs> like, ah, I don't know. You're just in the cartoon world. Fuck it. Hey, uh, it's modern now. Uh, the computer. Yeah. Hey, uh, son makes video games. Yeah. Son makes video games, and and some. I, there was one line that fucking blew my mind. It was like, it, it was something like, um, oh, you made a game. That's cool. I think Don Chi was like, wait, you made you made your own character? I'm like, yeah, of course he made his own character. He made a fucking video game. No shit. Yeah. I was like, I could I was like, who wrote this? Was it fucking like a 75-year-old man? Like, it was the guy like, who made um that uh, one Matthew McConaughey movie. The Martian. Uh, oh, it's a ser- Serenity. Yeah, I remember that movie. Serenity, that was yeah. a great. See, now that's a great game. That's a great. Movie it makes it. Uh, a game about his dad movie. Yeah. Interstellar. Yeah, but that one, that one's way funnier too, which is yeah. hilarious considering it's a drama. But and this is a comedy, you know, rhetorically. I mean, no rhetorically. Uh, rhetoric. Uh, it's a rhetoric comedy. Rhetorically, it's a rhetorical. <laughs> that's not what I meant to say. I'm tired. But uh, Space Jam's bad. Who would have fucking thought? Uh, see, he's getting allergic. But uh, yeah, why would you sneeze inside your shirt? Isn't he's that gross? Peeing. Why are you facing sideways? I don't know. You do know. You're just <laughs> not going to explain why. Adrian, did you like the movie or not? No. I, 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 I didn't think it was like, I, mean, I didn't go with any expectations. So I'm like, oh, this movie's I mean, not. I mean, okay. I didn't hate it to the point where I, I wanted to shut it off. Obviously, I was doing a video for it. So I, if I did that, people would be like, what? Like, I don't know. Um, but I didn't like it. That's for sure. And I'm t- I'm so sick of these fucking family movies that aren't. It's not. It's not about family anymore. Boss it's Baby is about family. Up. Boss Baby is about family, dude. Fuck off. Um, hey, but like, it, it's like they're family hand. movies, but they don't give a shit about the actual family. They just give a shit about the dumbass kids in the family. And it's like, like Spider Man. But she doesn't agree. Uh, Spider Man is a. Uh, what was it? What the fuck was it called? Oh my god! Just Into Spider-Man. the Spider Verse. Into the Spider Verse is a great movie for everybody. That that's a good family movie. I hate these ones where it's just fucking like if I was a parent, which thank fuck for that. I'm glad I don't you know do it. Kyle, what the fuck you are know, you doing? Do that, do that dirty shit, huh? What the fuck is Kyle doing? He's jerking I'm it. Believe fucking alone. listening to you. Yeah, he's talk. He's yeah. talking to uh, Sorry, uh, Bugs do do Bunny. Yeah, yeah, he's do talking to Bugs Bunny right now. <laughs> what are you? Funny glasses. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I don't like it. Okay, if kids, the kids' movies these days all just suck ass. I like. I I did a fucking video for the. Stu- oh my god, I'm a grown man. I did a video for the fucking stupid ass Porky rap shit, and I was just notorious like, this is fucking P-I-G. cringe. Yeah, notorious Pig. Oh, they're fucking really clever. Um, and I did a video. And it was cringe. The video was cringe, but the fucking rap cringe was based space. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, that's funny. <laughs> that that video is about most fucking movies that are out nowadays. But um, I just it's just bad, and people are like, oh, "I thought it was funny." Like, you got fucking something wrong with you. I'm sorry, and that's fine if you're there's something wrong with your brain. But don't give me shit because I didn't find it funny. Anyway, Base Jam Two. This is this is, this is now, going off the rails. A new legacy. Um, how about I, knew, I shit on your legacy, dude. I shit on your grave. I piss on your grave. I spit on your grave. 
I spent in your grave for Space Jam 2 A New Legacy. The sequels to I Spit on Your Grave should have been named like I Piss on Your Grave, I Shit on Your Grave. I, I make a, I make a dump on your grave. Yeah. I eat, I eat Taco Bell and shit on your grave. I I go fourth meal on. All right. Let's talk, <laughs> let's let's I mug bang dang shit on your grave. Let's uh bang. let's switch gears. Let's talk about Whiplash. So wow, what a what a shift in gears. As uh <laughs> so as our thing we're gonna do on this podcast now is we'll take one movie and we'll watch that over the course of uh the, until the next episode it gives us two weeks to watch a movie. Uh Whiplash being one that I know I've had recommended to me many times, uh, including Gord uh having recommended that to me. So I knew it was gonna be something I'd eventually watch. Uh so I decided let's do that one. Um let me talk, let me ask you guys first, how'd you guys like it when you guys first saw it? Uh, well, I saw it in 2014 when they was coming out. I saw it on like a bootleg site first and I loved it so much that I showed it to my mom a second time, like immediately after. And then after that, on the same day, I went to go to the theater to see it again because I thought it was just awesome. I was so invigorated by it and I just loved it. I thought it was hilarious. And also I just was just super entertained by it and goddamn if that isn't one of the best movies that have come out in the past decade love that movie always have and watching it again i still think it's a really fucking great like debut and like super standout movie for sure gore yes yes uh i saw it i saw it about a year after it came out uh i probably saw about 15 shitty movies in between when it came out and by the time i saw it so i definitely wasted my fucking time <laughs> taking so long to fucking get to it uh, it was uh, not as good as Space Jam, which is the Almost. movie we talked about before. Qu- eh. No Space Jam references in this, though. Better so, music, for sure, in there. Because references make a movie good, you know, according to 10-year-olds. But um, I, I loved it when, if, when I first saw it, and now I hate it because it's popular. <laughs> no, I, lo- I still love it. It's fantastic. Uh, I have almost no problems with it. I think it's almost a flawless movie in terms of what it has to be. Um, it's a simple movie in premise, but it's very, very tense, which is funny considering if you tell you if I tell anybody the premise, they'll be like, "That sounds like you know, kind of like a." Some people would consider that premise probably artsy. Sure. Oh, they try to be a drummer, and his teacher is aggressive. Maybe not artsy, but like or, it's just like simple. But. Or you could look at it like I like to and just think of it as the first part of Full Metal Jacket as the whole movie. Oh, yeah, you know sure. I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. It, it conjures up a lot of I've never seen that movie either. Like a very yeah. strict instructor, like really just like pushing someone to their absolute limits. Yeah. In Full Metal Jacket, it was to purposely break them and to like make them into like a mindless soldier. In Whiplash, yep. it was like trying to like get as much like juice out of you as possible to do this sort of task. And whether or not that's a good thing or not is what the movie like kind One of... One day I'll watch Full Metal Jacket. Movie. Yeah, uh, it, it definitely loses steam after the first part. Uh, that's what I've heard. Oh, it's still really good, I think. Um, but... but Whiplash keeps up that energy and that tenseness and that like just like grips you by the balls sort of feel. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like... for sure. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 great. It's still a great film. And uh, uh, Damien Chazelle, I mean, yeah. he made La La Land. Which... He made a he made a Whiplash short before this, starring starring J.K. Simmons. Which is how they got this one funded because everyone's like, "Holy shit, yeah. this is amazing! Go go make yeah. that." Yeah, I forgot who played Miles Teller's uh, character. It was another actor that I've seen before, but I can't remember his name now. I think he, I almost want to say it was a kid, one of the kids from, not kids, but one of the guys from uh, Scott Pilgrim. I almost want to say, but Michael Sarah. Yeah, it was Michael Sarah. Which, if it was Michael Sarah, I would never be able to believe him <laughs> as, as this character. But um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I think it really has almost a perfect pace and just like perfect acting like i i don't I, I can't think of anything that's really wrong with it there's like one scene that you could say all right well I, I suspension of disbelief for this movie is just like i don't know like like just uh, anything just kind of weird would seem crazy because it's so grounded like this one part where uh, there's a car crash spoilers by the way well, i mean we're gonna it's a full talk so who cares uh, uh, well, it's yeah. just, there's a car crash. Um, it's called yeah. whiplash. Too, so just a homie just like hops out and it's like, "I'm good." Yeah, that. that I mean, it, it what happens to his insurance? Uh, that guy's gonna get fucked in money. Oh, it's, 
He needed to go Man, play drums. That was a hit and run. God damn. Yeah. 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 A, a hit and hey, run. More realistic. It he was in jail the guy afterwards. That, but then he ran again after because he had to go get his sticks. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um. So I actually. Wait, was that the same scene? I'm confusing. I, I actually know. had a. Uh, no idea what this movie is about. I knew it was about drums in some sort of aspect, but I've actually kept in the dark completely about the entirety of the movie. Uh, I had no idea who was in it. Uh, no idea what was the premise, what genre or anything. I asked everyone to say, go fucking watch a movie you'll like. I'm like, all right, cool, one day. Uh, so I was very surprised at what it was, and uh, I, I liked that the ideas of where I thought it was going is exactly where it did go. Because his movie could have been by like anyone less, uh, any less screenwriter would have not approached what the actual problem is with the movie, you know, which is that he's abusive and to the point where like right. he makes you want to die. Because <laughs> you watch yeah, it, you're like, like Jesus it, Christ. Like another man. movie would like not even address. Yeah, you'd be that, like, you'd be like, address, address other characters dealing with it. Like when when you get when you get word that one of his students, we're, we're in spoilers, right? We can talk. Yeah, about yeah, it. no, we're, we're full yeah, spoilers. When, when you find out one of his students students died, at first he says it's a car cra- uh, wreck, um, and then you find out it wasn't. Um, it was because he was abusive and really p- took a toll on his sanity. Um, but um. Yeah, so like a, another movie, like a lesser movie, uh, maybe made by a, a bad filmmaker, you know, like a Malcolm D. Lee or you know somebody. <laughs> we would probably not even address that. It'd just be an abusive guy, and and that's it. You know, it, it so, would have even not even like approached that. I think it would have been like you would have let the movie think like, man, that guy was a dick, and you would leave right, that, that question. Guy was a dick. You'd leave with that question like, wouldn't wouldn't that guy have gotten in trouble? Whereas this one approaches like, yeah. oh no, like that. Because that's what I was thinking when I was watching. Because I wasn't sure. Like I just knew it was a well. I knew everyone liked it. It was a really well done movie, yeah. but. I was asking. It was like saved by the bell shit. Yeah, because you know, I was watching with a like, friend. That guy's a dick. Yeah, I was watching with a friend, and, I'm, and, and I was watching with a friend, and we're like, it, "This guy's kind of fucked up, right?" Like, I mean, like, I get what I get what he's doing, but like, this is way not okay. And we were kind of asking, like, "How the fuck does this guy have a job?" And sure enough, like that, eventually came back and to be in the full yeah. like actual idea of what the movie was. Um, I thought, okay. uh, what's the the the, the character's name? The main character. Newman? Newman? Yeah, Newman. Newman. Uh, I, I liked how he played a 19-year-old very well, I think. Like, it was very naive yeah. but passionate. Uh, his his breakup talk was the dumbest shit ever, but so yeah. realistic. Like, Because yeah. you, you knew, you were like, oh, this guy 100% believes exactly what he was saying. And that's what she followed up with that. She's like, are you being serious? He's like, hmm? He thought he was being mature. He's like, yeah, that's, that's exactly like, a, it's like, oof. I'm glad, I'm glad that happened because, like, I don't want like too many movies have like romances where it's like it's like it's either the drums or the relationship and like that becomes the crux of the plot later like oh what is he going to this is, this movie's like 30 minutes and he's just like nah and then and then later on i guess it kind of bites him in the ass cuz he's like hey you want to you know i, I love that drum? it bit him in the and ass just, that i will say she knew what she was doing there cuz that was some bullshit he's like uh i have to ask my boyfriend <laughs> i was like you that, know that's you that's ass. great though like i think like that, that's yeah. that's a good move because i felt bad for her because i mean she yeah she was totally cool and like again she, she wasn't even the one that fucking made the move too this motherfucker and that's i'm like true. i'm like also you can't go to the movie theater uh, now. she gave him popcorn i, I like that idea too because i mentioned it right when they broke i'm like he can't go to the theater anymore on the next scene you see is that him and his dad are, are watching the movie at the house okay. instead i'm like you yeah. can't go to the theater anymore nope um but yeah no i thought it was very intense too which you wouldn't get just reading the basic idea of what was going on you know it's that um it i mean there's fucking a lot of blood for a movie you wouldn't even think it would have a lot of blood in yeah man yeah more blood in this than a base jam i just i just love and then jay simmons is fucking ripped dude who jay simmons oh, he just fucking wears that black shirt like a fucking man dude <laughs> yeah. he just looks like mr clean what are you talking about yeah, yeah guys, uh, no, that, that's Mr. a real man. He's a white shirt, Mister. He's like evil, Mister Clean. He's yeah. like, he's like, oh my Mr. god, Mister Dirty. He's like, <laughs> yeah, like Bizarro, Mister Clean. What's his name again? Um, Fletcher, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I was and, hoping his and, name was like Mister. And, and dude, I actually really appreciate the 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 dad relationship in this movie. Oh yeah, I feel like um the, uh, uh fuck, what's his name? He's uh. From aliens, right? Oh, not that you know. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser. He was in Aliens. He was the... Well, I don't want to spoil it. Um, th- th- There's a lot of movies that just do shit with dad relationships, I feel like. It's always like the dad's like checked out or or uh, too busy with work or something. Or Even- in the case of Joe Bell, he just has a gay son. That's it. Oh, I haven't seen that. <laughs> Is that that's the Mark Wahlberg one, right? Yeah. Hey, you gay? Pretty- yeah. So Hey bro, you're gay as hell? I, I uh <laughs> Say hello I, to your mother for me. And I appreciated the fact that like when when uh Fletcher was like, Hey, by the way, I'm I, I know you did it by the way. And he just fucks oh, him yeah. on stage and that like kills him and he walks off stage and like I was saying when we were in front of that, I was like, Man, if I was that kid's dad, I would have fucking rushed on stage and uh, uh, what like went straight for Fletcher. But like he like being a wow. fantastic dad he is, he is there to comfort his son it's right a, away. And then that's yeah. the power up he needed, dude. He got the dad love, and he's like, "Cool, I'm good. Let's do this. Let's go back out." Yeah. And then and then he started playing. Literally you know, took the show from him, which was fucking blush. amazing. Yeah. That Good was. Stuff. And then I I think the only critique that I could see Normie's having is uh uh. Where's right? Blue, where's Bug Bunny? No no Let's no it's it, it's uh the ending is very open ended, and I feel like a lot of people don't like very. I don't think it is. I think it's it's like his his like there's there's a shot of his dad's face where he's like looking like like. It, that that's like full confirmation that uh yeah he's he's fallen to the dark side i guess yeah um, no i i feel I like think it... even the i could be wrong i think even the director at one point said he sees uh neiman as one of those kids that gets successful early and then dies really young like that's what i mean though just consumed by it yeah that's what i mean though is that like you can you, you can go a lot of different ways with how this ends up too sure. um, but even like for a normie i think they'd be like they, I say, they just be jar- they they would find the ending jarring, but they wouldn't think like it's incomplete. I know my friend thought it was like super jarring. Uh, well, he, he's a fucking idiot. But uh, he I, I, I Fletcher, right? So what was that? He, a, he impressed Fletcher. So yeah, like, uh, well, I mean that that, that course makes yeah. sense, but you could see how I, I, don't I think could he totally wasn't the entire movie until that, that moment. I could totally see when uh, I could totally see that that just being so open ended for people that's like oh, uh, but I mean not that it matters. But like I know, like, like one of my experiences was like watching the road in theaters. And literally, everyone that I took a group of people there, and everyone in that fucking group hated that movie. They were yeah, like, "What the fuck was sense. that?" Uh, and I, I fucking loved it. Um, yeah, it was a great movie. I yeah. read the book of that actually. I don't read books at all. That's the only thing you ever read. Short, it was a, it was a short book. So. It was it was pictures. Like a, it was like a hundred and like twenty five pages of some shit. I, wonder, I, was like, oh, I could do I this what shit. The cinema score for this was. Now they say that. Uh, it was probably around like I, I'd get you know. Let's take guesses. I'm gonna like say a B. Plus. I'm gonna say a B. I'm gonna just say a B. Let me go look. Let's say B plus if it that even has one. B plus. I, I, I think most movies have a cinema score, don't they? Uh, yeah. Not always like you know smaller ones like that, but usually. Right. Why is it? Ah. Ah, mm. guy, show me my eye. No, I don't. Because whatever it. that game, on here. that's damn. Huh? Okay, I'd probably say. Like, well, I guess more wide release movies do. I don't think this ever really. I mean, I think it did eventually, but not when it first came out. I, I, it was in my, it was at my theater in my shitty. It was theater. at my theater too. Is this, yeah, is I remember that picked up with time, right? Huh? It did. It did well. Yeah. Or rather, about it, it yeah, did pretty for, well. For how much? Yeah, but but the budget was really small though. It was like two million, probably right. Yeah, it was like a two three million dollar budget. J.K. Simmons, I think, took a really small. Yeah paycheck yeah. on that because he just wanted to do it i mean he was in the short so i was like yeah the short is just that i don't know if you saw the short adrian no but it's just it's just the scene where he throws a chair that that scene and that's like the whole short dude that that, that scene I, where i can't remember I, he throws the chair in the the short but it's just that like where he's berating him and shit that scene where uh uh he, he says there's a note off and he just antagonizes that guy who actually had the right note yeah, that's good. I was shit. a fucking. I was like, damn, dude. I thought that that was gonna be a. Uh, again, I actually liked where it ended. Uh, that caught me off guard, which I actually like. I like getting caught off guard where the things should end. Like every once in a while, it's like nice calling it. Like I think a movie should end right here, and it's cool when I land that. But I like being. I like being pleasantly surprised when a movie ends. And, I would like uh, that with Space Jam. I said this movie should end here. It was right after the <laughs> fucking title screen. Uh, like perfect. But uh, yeah, no, I thought that was gonna be another twist where uh, like. How he fake how he faked him out almost like oh hey by the way you thought it was he thought it was that guy and it wasn't I thought it was maybe, oh maybe he thought he reported him but it was actually someone else that reported him or something 
because you don't actually get confirmation that he reports them, right? Like you can insinuate right. that he does, but it doesn't actually. Well, uh, he goes to a lawyer. It's, I think it's it's heavily it's heavily insinuated, insinuated but it's not one hundred percent like oh, okay, we're gonna do it. No, so I thought it's that pretty we, close. Yeah, so I thought they maybe throw something like in there. But I mean, I'm glad to end it where it was. I thought that was a a solid like high to end it on. I, they also they, I guess they didn't confirm it at, at the end either. It's not like uh, Miles Teller's character, well, unless there was a line. I don't remember. Mm. It's not like he said like I did it. It was me. It was Austin. me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, but overall, yeah, no, that that was fantastic. Um, I just, I just love how passionate he he brought Masala brought everything into that because uh, on both ends too, like even fucking uh, even uh, J.K. Simmons even really brought that on his end too. Like it was just two won, guys. He won. He won, and, he won an Academy Award for it. So. Yeah, it was just two guys just like really wanting this and just clashing hard. Yeah, Miles over Teller it. was really good, but. Yeah, J.K. And also, Michael Sarah would have done a better job. <laughs> yeah, Michael Sarah. Miles is a Taylor can, can I just say, My, Miles Taylor Teller has a weird face. Not like in a bad way. Yeah. Well, no, in a bad way, but not like he's not handsome. Uh, he just got like one of those faces where he's just like you. You just think immediately this this kid's up to something. Like, and I say kid, but I think he's like my age. So I think <laughs> he, like... fit, he fit perfectly as like a soldier. He looks like a dumbass. Like, oh yeah, like... yeah. Went to the Marines like immediately after high school. Well, he was in um oh fuck what was that movie a few years ago? I kept seeing the trailer for. Ah, oh, where he played a soldier. It was about like PTSD yeah. and Thank stuff. You for your service. Thank you for your service. Yeah, which by the way, Amy Schumer's in that movie. I didn't know that. <laughs> She's not cracking jokes too from her, which is good because she ain't good at. It. But um, I you didn't, uh, you didn't laugh at the beginning. Of your no. video. Oh, my vagina. That's her every one of her jokes about her fucking snatch. I'm like, sick of it, Jesus. Which that's the name of one of her movies, by the way. Oh, I guess it's snatch you me to look at it. <laughs> anyway, Amy Schumer. Uh, yeah, but uh, Miles Teller, I think he's a really good actor and also uh, he's really good in First Man. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually like... forgot, I forgot he was in that. He was great in Fantastic Four. Good, dude. Wait. Fantastic Four. Yeah, it's not all. Fir- wait, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. He was in First Man. Yeah, Miles Teller, right? No, no that was Ryan it. Gosling, right? No, that was Ryan Gosling. Wait, I was like, uh, you blew. Wait, was he? Made- I was thinking maybe he wasn't. No, he, he, I'm looking at his IMDb. No, that was Ryan Gosling, right? It's not okay, right? Yeah, oh, okay. I was about. That was just. Never I was mind. like, wait, hold on. Never mind. I'm dumb. As fuck. Oh, we're, we're in a fucking like. He a was in only age. the brave. He was really good at that. That was a good movie. Pretty fucking. He's sad gonna be did. in Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, that's true. He's he was shirtless at one point. I saw him in the trailer. Oh, Whoa. I saw it. Oh, hey I now. saw it. Hey now, how come Tom Cruise I, doesn't go shirtless? He, he is thirty-four years old. Mm. Okay, he's older than me. I, Whatever. I think Fuck this him. is his best performance still. Oh yeah, for sure. Like that's it, without a doubt. Uh, right next to the fan four stick performance. Yeah, of course. Yeah, with Stretch that's... Man. Johnny Cage or whatever. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Cage. Super fantastic man. Johnny Johnny Storm. Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan was in that too. <laughs> was he this was also uh, in Space Jam. What was this uh, movie of the year for you guys? Um, I have to remember what came out in 2014. Uh, Birdman. <laughs> Birdman won. I don't even think Whiplash was nominated for Best Picture. I think it was. Uh, was it? Gone okay. Girl. I was, I was, I was about to say it was the Uncut Gems of that year. But uh, boyhood, uh, Whiplash was nominated. Turdhood. Uh, the you know, nomina- like, I, nominations I were about Boyhood. I dislike it more. And more. The nominations were uh, Birdman, American Sniper, Boyhood, <laughs> Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash. Uh, the Theory of Everything. That's your favorite movie, right? You the love Theory of movie. Everything. Fucking sucks. And um, The Imitation Game's boring. I did you guys, did you guys like Foxcatcher? Uh, uh, the Imitation Game. Fox I Catcher love Foxcatcher. Really Foxcatcher. That's, that's 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 it's it's just the same like as this. You don't think it's gonna be really tense, but it's fucking. Actually, really that tense. that's another movie that's actually literally on the same list as Whiplash. Actually, for me, where I'm gonna watch it. Think one about day it. And people tell me I love it. No, you you would probably think it's tense because of the premise. But it's like it's like one of those movies while you're watching it, you're like, why am I feeling tense? Because nothing's happening. That yeah, it's like a lot of like silence and stuff. But holy yeah. fuck. What, what they it's do really it's pretty amazing. Mark Ruffalo is really good in that. Steve Carell, Channing Tatum. That was like the first Channing Tatum role where I was like, this guy's really good. Yeah, that was good. He does a Kyle to a wall at one point though. 
<laughs> Not you, Kyle, just the meme. He beats the shit out of like a, a wall at one point. I was like, yo, don't fuck with this guy. Anyway, yeah, I uh, mean, Fox is great. 2014 was a pretty, pretty dang good year, you know, for like the kind of movies, you know, that I like. Yeah. Inherent Vice also. Inherent so, Vice, yeah. You know, Edge of Tomorrow. I, I love the Edge of Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That was great. Uh, Nightcrawler. You mean Live Down Repeat, Nightcrawler. sorry. Great year, honestly. Yeah, I Live Down Repeat. Flash might be at the top for me. Whiplash, Nightcrawler. Uh, I love the Imitation Game. That was just me, though. Um, I loved Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> I loved Edge of Tomorrow, too. Oh. Uh, Tra- Transformers 4, of course. The classics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Dinobots, come on, man. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. That was a fun one. Good good job, Gun Gunman. That's his name. Anyway, uh, are we actually done with Whiplash? Is that... I, I think so. Like, Adrian, it seems like you liked it, but I don't really know, like, gauge like how much you liked it uh it, it really caught me off guard it was one of those movies that i'm sure like had it i'd watched it when it come out if we had been doing this i probably would have been raving a lot more at it it took me a lot to digest i'm still kind of digesting it a little bit honestly uh it's one of those movies that kind of sticks with you for a while uh thinking about the ramifications of everything that happened in there but uh i love it i i love uh i mentioned this a lot to like friends too but uh i've never been into jazz but i miss jazz i don't know why that how that makes sense to me but like I just yeah, like so, I, so is Damien Chazelle. Like next movie we fucking have it too. Like uh, it's it just the aesthetic of it, you know, the sound of it, and and it was cool because it was like uh, un, like unironically Whiplash having such a smooth like like a, such a smooth like genre of music that kind of keeps you there. How such intensity and like and blood and and death behind it almost you know like it's say that like that but i mean like it's it's wild how much it is and it, and i liked i liked the character motives like jk sims is a dick but you get it like yeah like i thought that the whole way too, i always like, wish he didn't explain it towards the end that no was, he, didn't, yeah, he didn't have to either like i thought like i i totally no, understood also, i felt like that's for the dummies out there too it's just like it's very obvious why he does it but he's just like i just wanted to push them so they could get the Gets you know, get big and strong, you drink your milk and all that. Yeah, shit. no, I, I, but I got that too. It's like you know how prestigious school is and yeah, everything. It's like he's pushing, I got that immediately. pushing, pushing. He, yeah, he wasn't doing it just to be a dick and and potentially get fired. It was obvious he was doing it because he wanted. To, I mean, he even said it. I think earlier in the movie, he wanted to. What's his name? Charlie Day. Wasn't it our Charlie? Yeah, Charlie Day. No, wasn't there like another musician he was comparing? Ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, no, like I understood his, his intentions right away. Like I'm sure playing with people were like, well, this guy's really mean and that's about it. But like, yeah. I, and that's why they had that, that scene. He's a big wrong, meanie. You know? And but... you know what? He, he shouldn't talk bad about Spider-Man either. <laughs> that fucking big meanie weenie. But I, I, I totally understood it where he was coming from. I got it. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't like it, but it was like, I get why he's doing that. And it was, it was cool to understand that and kind of see both ends of it too. Uh, and I did like the, the the twist where it's like you think he has a compassionate side. You're like, oh, he does care. And then you're like, oh, no, that hit it. no. Uh, it's his fault. <laughs> nope. Um, you don't give a shit. And, uh, and you that d- bites him on the ass because then he looks like a fucking idiot. Like, yeah. And then he's uh, just like, talking to the audience and fuck his drummer's like, well, fuck it. Uh, and then uh, I think the one thing that really, really caught me off guard was uh, I had to look and see what year this movie was. And they drop a lot of uh, words that are really not OK. I mean, I get that's kind of the idea of it. Well, uh, I, I think every single character here is supposed to be an asshole. I know you're exactly what you talk about uh, fucking uh, J.K. Lot, Simmons. Lot, at one, yeah, no, at like, one point, at one point, he calls somebody a soy boy. What? No. <laughs> no, he said. Balls tell her a soy he, boy. he says like a lot of stuff that it's like, oh, whoa, <laughs> like. Well, he's a bad guy. No, you're I know, to I say know that. I know that. If you're but, a bad guy, you're allowed to say. I'm saying it really, why, it really caught me off guard because I'm like, oh, no, I bad guys are the most interesting people. Because I feel like I don't, I don't hear stuff like that like now, obviously, because people try to stay away from that. But it was like, oh, well, I mean, I, I again, it felt like it felt like very much uh, how you would see a locker room talk, you know, where it's like the. Yeah. the coach like grinding into the hello ladies like he says that at one point too i even looked around i'm like i don't see any girls in this class at all for obvious reasons no there was one I think, there was I think one there, there was one. one at the end at the I end because he said like are you here because uh you're talented or, or cute and then she starts playing i think it's like no obviously oh uh, okay, okay. Cute or whatever. Yeah, that was one of the end that, too. unless that was a guy <laughs> a cute ass guy he, you know? he did say that about miles uh, Sackerman. <laughs> he's 19 isn't he adorable isn't he cute 
Yeah. Well, that was that was more then belittling. It, and then he makes him <laughs> cry. <laughs> he makes him cry. Oh, you cry, piss your pants. Maybe shit, should come. <laughs> 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 he said that. Oh, amazing. Yeah, that's where it stems from. That's where it started. Yeah. He's like, "Are you rushing? Are you dragging? Are you shitting? Or are you coming?" <laughs> yeah, that's that's my <laughs> tellers' as backdrop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, yeah, it, funny it, movie. I, I love uh, all the characters worked well together. The dynamic was fantastic. Um, soundtrack was awesome, and I just love the premise. It really caught me off guard. I'm glad I didn't know anything about the movie. Uh. Here's a pro tip from somebody that's not a pro. Um, if you want to make your premise that's kind of simple, really good, just make it fucking tense as shit. Because, like, even Uncut Gems, like, it's a simple premise. A guy is a jeweler, and he, he's got a jewel. He's trying to sell it. Okay, he, he, he's, he's, sell a ga- he's a he's gambling addict. and Yeah, Foxcatcher, like we said, it's a guy. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Yeah, don't tell me, because I will watch that. I'm doing things. I'm not, I'm doing, uh, like, literally said, a guy doing 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 things. Now I know there's, (laughs) now now I know they do things. I now know there's a guy in it. Fuck. It's it's getting late out here, boys. Yeah, so we'll wrap it. Uh, What movie we're watching next? Um, That's what I wanted to know, because I have a perfect one in mind if, uh, if I'm down to clown for this week. Oh, clown is that, is that, what does that mean? Hmm. I don't know. I'm saying I can do it. I, I, I would like to do it this week if uh, that's <laughs> I knew what he meant. Do it this week. I don't. I don't understand that. But I continue. Like he wants week. to pick the movie. Oh, oh! I oh, think I'm gonna record this week. I'm gonna be doing that. Yeah. What? Well, what, what? What fucking movie I is it? Recommend the movie this week. Yeah. Well, go ahead and stop being cryptic. Just go ahead and say it. All right. I like cryptic. Now, this is a movie that I have not seen. It's one of the very like most popular movies that I have not seen. That like Black okay. Widow. Can I guess. Can I guess. Yeah. Back to the Future. No, I've seen uh, Back to the Future so many. I don't times. know what you've seen. Uh, uh, you can use a guess. Not... <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Future too. It's E. T. Uh, no, of course. Uh, uh, Harry and the Hendersons. Uh, the the uh, the Wing Commander. Kyle, what is it? No, hold on. Uh, cats. Wait, you saw cats. Early two thousands. AI. Two thousand one. Wait. Oh, oh, Matrix Revelations. Revolution. Uh, no, reloaded. No, I've seen those. Those are bad. Um, the Ghost Rider. <laughs> uh, that's uh, late two thousands. Also uh, bad. Whatever. All right, give me a hint. Um, let's say about two thousand three. Kind of became Iro- like a underground sensation, and now it's like a Napoleon Dynamite popular movie. Think of like a what? Donnie Darko sort of thing. Donnie Darko. Oh, uh, S. Darko. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be really funny. No one cares about S. Darko. S. Darko. Uh, all right. Well, all right. Just one more hint and then you can just tell us. Right. Um, too fast, movie, too furious. He's never actually I'll seen fu- it. I fucking... S- mm, I don't even want to say. Go ahead. And this movie is famous for... Squeezing out a very uh, dramatic performance from a usually on Show Club. No, Looney Tunes well, back in action. That's a really good guess, though. Uh, and that's I think that was 2002. Wrong turn. Yeah. Oh, uh, is it Robin Williams? Is that the actor? No. Uh, House of a Thousand the movie Corpses. Is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless. Oh, Ooh, okay. I've been told by like. Every girl I've ever Jimmy dated to watch that. So now it's Kyle, the one who's going to make me watch that. <laughs> it will be so interesting to see what happens. Okay. It does, I don't know if it's a bad thing or good thing what happens in that movie. All I know is like it might be sad or something. But it will be it interesting. Advanced. And it is it is one of the most like, popular movies that I have not I seen. I love so how I'm ironic that is for me. To see how, how it will be. From, What'd you say, from, from the maker of Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I've, I've, straight, I've dated so many girls that are like, you need to watch that movie. And I'm like, yeah, maybe one day. And I like how Kyle is the one that rolls up. We're going to watch this. Right movie. when they say that, you break, oh, up, yeah. you break up with them. Like, I'm yeah, I'll watch that. It. Someone Shut told up. me to watch that movie like fucking like two weeks ago. So, wow. Was it your girlfriend? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no? Nope. Was it Kyle? Nope. Well, who the fuck else do you know? No one. <laughs> my uh, this popularity. My, se- my second was personality. It, you playing Overwatch and they told you to play? Yeah, some asshole jumped on there. What do you know? What? Tracer, Tracer turned around and told you to watch it. Look at the camera. The fucking spineless buy. What the fuck is it called again? 
<laughs> spotlight, spotlight mind. Spotlight. The eternal sunshine yeah. of the spotless Spot. mind. I'll never watch yeah. Spotlight. Now, was this your idea? Or was this your girlfriend's idea, Kyle? Um, it was. It's been on my watch list forever, and uh, I've always been interested in it. And especially now, uh, I'm very interested to see how it goes. Adrian, she has a name, all right? Yeah. Martha. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you say that, that name? <laughs> Why would you say that name? I met her. That She's a nice never, person. I don't that will know. never, that will never not be funny. The fucking. She deals with Kyle, so she's a she's yeah. a strong woman. Yeah. She'll turn into a Karen if she doesn't. Isn't that like the thing? Karens are like Marthas, but dragged through the mud and then become Karens. I've never heard that. I, I don't know. I don't even know what honestly. I don't even know what Karen is. Just everybody says it. And I'm it's, like, I don't know what uh, that means. <laughs> angry, like I want to see your manager woman it's like the chad you know chad's uh, like oh that guy's a fucking chad That's... oh just so just white girls all right thank you for coming <laughs> up <laughs> waka 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 yeah, that's the one uh, they have. It's, we, got, we got Chad's, we got Kyle's, we got Karen's are the ones that want to see their manager. <laughs> Chad, Chad's, Kyle's, Karen's. Uh, the trifecta. And then everybody else is just normal. That's it. And then you got Gores. Yeah, Gores. Yeah, fat, unwashed. Unwashed. <laughs> 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 All right, so yeah. Eternal Spotlights of, this, of with whatever mind, something. Yeah, Eternal Sunshine of the Eternal Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight of, of Sunshine Mind. Just pristine sky. <laughs> we'll Eternal put... part, apartment. Eternal Sunshine. Sun, sunlight spine. We're gonna watch. Sun... Oh, let's watch Sunshine. Oh, Sunshine Ooh. Spotlight of the Mindless Eye. <laughs> Queer Eye for the Gay Guy. <laughs> I have, watch that show. I have one movie I want to recommend that you guys are going to really be unhappy about it, but I, I, I want to watch it. It's oh, one it's of like Super Mario Bros. movie. It's one of my longest. I'll watch just one day in my list movies. Oh, we, I, I guess we're just, we'll just rotate it. Right. So I went last I went last week or this week, I guess rather Kyle's going next week or next podcast. So Gore will go next one. Then we'll Did you go last week? I, I pick Whiplash. Did you? Yep. So then uh, Gore will pick next episode. And we'll just we'll yeah. just rotate that way. We'll do that that way. Uh, that's fucked up. I go last, but all right. That's messed up. Hey, I I asked first, man. First dibs. Sorry. First man, Damien Chazelle. Yeah, let's, let's watch that. First man, a movie where Ryan Gosling just looks. Thank you for listening to the Movie Podcast Remake Episode oh, Two. Hold on. I just wanted to, I really want to ask. I want to ask Gore if he's actually seen Eternal Sunshine. I have. I haven't seen it in a long time though. I remember the ending. Well. The last 30 no minutes. Spoilers. Yeah, man. When Jim Carrey and that blue hedgehog just fucking start going yeah. at it. Not sexual, like fighting. Not sexual. No, no, no. Can't do that. Can't do that. That's that's wrong. The fanboys get upset and they'll have to change Jim Carrey's design. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what that means. All right. Hell yeah. I don't know. Excited for that one. Done. I'm tired. Stay tuned. Fuck you. <laughs> Go hell. Stop watching our podcast. Stop. Hey, first off, I, last thing. Fuck Stop. you if you wear a Toon Goon Dune Squad shirt. Fuck to, you. To, yeah, happen. if you if you wear anything that says Toon and Squad in there or Goon Squad. Or Dune I Squad. Put, I will I will Dune punch you squad. in the nuts what, what about, or ovaries. Hey, what about the Dune Squad? Yeah, that's fine. If you're excited uh, Dune about Squad's the new Dune movie, then fine. You can be the Dune Squad. But no, about, no uh, Dune Squad. How about just Doom though? That's a good game. And yeah, what about yeah, the Doom, Doom Squad? Squad? All right. How about Doom Patrol? I heard that. I'm just so tired there. of seeing all these fucking like you know white teenage girls fucking wearing Toon Squad yeah, I mean, shirts. Can't Jersey stand what, looking at white people. So I know, upset. Dude. I'm serious. Yeah. I go on my phone. It's just white people everywhere. Ugh. I'm looking at Fuck. I'm looking at two whites right now. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, this guy, every time I think of doing a move, he does it. <laughs> and look at his Mario shirt. <laughs> Confirmed virgin. <laughs> I mean, he's looking for that Illumination movie. All right. I, was... I actually forgot they were doing yeah, that. Until... Yes, oh, Wabadu. Or... Thanks for watching slash listening. I'm a minion. Yeah. Or is a minion. Yeah, I'm going to end this podcast by doing something you, 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 you're going to, you're not going to expect. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>